phone and I take inside that bag and my pocket. So that you need to do. I don't have any profit, it's only a bag and I've searched for it. Do you think that's the most no bag you can do inside? No Maybe bag. I lost it. Oh please, can you give me a minute? Let me just go in and get to your name. Try to be fast. I will. Mama, Please, Mama. Why are you standing here looking at me like this? Inside! Huh? I think I'm inside! Hey. Where is he? I left him outside. I don't have any money to pay him. All my plans today failed. <laughs> is that why you're shaking? Eh? Why won't I shake? You don't need to bother yourself. We shall treat his case as usual. You know what I mean? Hmm? Chill. Just go in and there. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yes. No, you're not done by yourself. Who do you have your own break now? Okay. Fine. That lady will just sit down here now. Go inside there. Tell us how they wait for a year. She never pay me. Hey, tell us how they wait for a year now. No question. I better go tell her, Joe. Sometimes he could be very stupid and act foolish. Yeah, support it, support it. No, and I want you to get this into your empty skull. If you open your mouth and say anything to that man, I will feel my pepper into your eyes. Do you hear me? I am. Now, return to your duty post and open the gate for him. Na me they they ask that kind of question, eh? Which guy which guy talk up top that one now? You tell me something at that side they wait for you make company money. Still they ask me say who are they look for? Which guy part of that one now? What can I do for you? I won't collect my money. Give my money, make a make a the money. Why they problem? Money. Give my money, make a come up for here. Say I don't pay for that one though. Just give my money, make a come up. You must be out of your mind. Are you stupid? Me? All your money? I don't understand what this stupid man is talking about. Bro, what is the matter? I said, what is the matter? Now my money I won't collect. I want to collect my money. Money? Yes. Money, money for what? Yes. See, if no be you, now you. We tell me to make a day outside there. Wait for me to call you come bring my money. And now you, now you. So make you bring my money, come make a day go. Hey, this is strange. It is not me. Okay. And it's not me either. Okay. You are out of your mind. And I've come in here to make a first claim. Me, make a first claim. You can send that money now. Now you go give my money. You must give me that 2000 there now. You must, give, you must give me that money now. Ah. You must be really out of your mind though. Me? Let me tell you that. Me, I agree to pay you 2,000 naira. You don't get out of this compound then. I will call the police. Now, nah, yeah. you don't go do anything. Eh? You don't do anything. You want my money, they tell me say, they tell me say, you're not You go pay my money today. You must give my money. See this one though. I can't. Am I speaking with Inspector James? Okay. Inspector James. Inspector. Please, can you shut up your mouth? Why did you talk about this? Shut me. Why did you talk about this? Shut my compound and it's a church to us. Have you? If this man escaped, 
The pastor has already approved our money for our transportation and welfare. So please make yourself available very early. We leave at least by 8 o'clock so that we'll have time to visit as many hospitals as we can. No problem. By special guest of God, I will be ready before 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I need to head off to the bank now. Okay, that's it. I should pay you the check. Sir, I, we are from a church. We go around to evangelize to people, especially we go to hospitals to pray for patients and share the word of God with them. So we need your consent to meet with your patients and pray with them and also share the word of light with them. Okay. And uh, which of the churches do you represent? Power from Heaven Assembly, sir. Oh, Paul from Heaven Assemblies. Yes, sir. I think I know that church. Excuse me. Um, Rita, you will take them to the ward. Oh, um, is there any other thing you want me to do for Absolutely you? Absolutely not, sir. We just want your consent, just to share the word of light with them and pray, pray with them as well. Okay, thank you. Go with her. Thank you very much, sir. Thank God you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, 
brother, my sister, good morning. We are from the Power from Heaven Assembly. We have come to share the Word of God with you and also pray with you. So, um, how are you doing, my brother? I am good too, brother. Thank you. That is the will of God for you, for you to be in good health, even as your soul prospered. Because he said that he sent his son to die for our sins, and he was hung on that cross because he paid the price for us. And this, the chastisement of our peace was put upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. So we have come to pray with you today to receive the healing power of Jesus Christ. Did you say those ladies have visited the hospital for prayers before? Yes, Doctor. Members of the church normally visit hospitals occasionally for prayer. And I must say, I visited here twice. Okay, let me go and see the pharmacist. He called and he's in his office. Please, keep your eyes on that lady that has just been brought out of the theater. Okay? It's very important to be in the room when she's away. Very, very important. Yes, the power to heal every sickness. Mm. Not some. Sister, not some. Brother, not some. Every sickness. All you have to do is trust and believe in Him mm. and you will receive your healing. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. We want you to understand that the healing power of Jesus changed not. Just like the Bible describes Jesus that He is our God who changed not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he has decreed healing for you in the Bible, it is just left for you and I to claim it and receive it in the name of Jesus. He spoke to his prophet in the book of Jeremiah. He asked him, he said, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Brother, sister, I have come to tell you today that there is nothing too hard for God to do. If only you would believe and trust in him. There is nothing to have for no sickness, no disease, no situation, nothing under the face of the earth is too hard for God to do. If you decide to follow Him today and accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior, God will do wonders in your life. There is nothing, there is nothing too hard for Him to do. Today, we have come to show you that there is a God that answered by fire. Yes, David spoke about the healing power of God. The ultimate healing power of God in Psalm 107 verse 20 when he said he sent his word and he healed us and he did not only heal us, he delivered us from our afflictions, from every sickness, from every disease. Oh. All you have to do is believe in that same God. Yes. If only you believe in that same God, you will receive your healing. Amen. Sister, brother, open your heart to him. Amen. He even said in his word that if only we have faith as little as mustard seed, yes. we can tell this mountain to move from here and go somewhere else. Amen. You can tell this sickness to leave and it will leave. Amen. All you need to do is believe in that God Amen. and you will be healed. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Thank you. We are going to pray together, but before we do that, I don't know if um, you have given your life to Christ, but if you have not, we will pray. Repeat these words after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. I ask, O oh Lord, that you cleanse me anew with your blood. The precious blood of your son that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. I denounce my old ways and pledge my life to you as your child. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Now we are going to pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord God, because you are God. Besides you, there is no other. 
You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who knew us even before we were born. Father, we come today to you as your children. We come under the auspices of the anointing. Father, we ask today that your blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary be made available today for our healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask, oh God, that as your children, therefore we are partakers of the divine nature. Whereas the divine nature knows no illness, we decree and declare that from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Father, we are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, we ask you in the name of Jesus Amen. to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. The temple which you are, you have no place here in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree healing is our portion. Amen. Divine health is our portion. Amen. Prosperity is our portion. Amen. Everything good is our portion. Amen. Every sickness in the name of Jesus, I command you, take your bow. Take your bow. At the mention of the name of Jesus, you will bow. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name forevermore because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Besides you, Father, is no other. Father, we thank you for the healing power that you have bestowed upon us today. We ask, O oh Lord God, that the, at the end of it all, the glory will be ascribed unto your name Amen. and the shame will be for the devil. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for we've prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brother, my sister, I want you to believe in your heart, to know inside of you that God will heal you. My brother, my sister, I want you to believe in God. He is the ultimate God. All the other ones are fake gods. Trust me, He lives inside of you. Now that you have given your life to Christ, He is inside of you. So you can talk to Him and we urge you to pray always and read your Bible always to show yourself approved. The anointing will never cease in your life. Amen. Let us leave now. We have other patients to attend to. Yes. And we pray that in the light of what you have received today, you will move forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Take care. God Amen. bless. Amen. Amen. Bye. Someone has tampered with my soup. Mark, 
please, please, please. I don't want you. <laughs> Just allow me to rest. You don't want my trouble. Yet you went to my pot of soup to steal. Allow you to rest what? Are you the one that stole the meat from my, from my pot of soup? Are you crazy or something? Eh? You're a very stupid man. Onako. Onako. Watch your tongue. Did the soup pot tell you that uh, somebody came to eat? What kind of stupid question is that? And what kind of useless and stupid answer do you want from me? Oh, now you've confirmed it. You've confirmed that you were the one that stole the two pieces of meat from my pot. You better go. I left you alone in this house. And there's nobody else that's in here but you. Stop insulting me. I have taken enough of your insults in this house. Stop it. Me? Don't push me. Push it away. I am insulting you. At least you've admitted you're the one. This morning I counted the pieces of meat in my pot. I had eight pieces of meat. And now I'm back. I have only six pieces. And the soup has gone bad. Besides, all my children left this morning and no one has been home since then except you. So it has come to taking census of meat in this house. Why would I take census? When I know I have a rat in the house. Where is the rat? You're asking. You should know who the rat is. If you're not there, man, let me right. Come up your mother. Yes, what is what? What is what? Is it not your father? On your grand? Stealing from my pot of soup. Onako. Yes? Onako. Yes? I say, let that your head split into two. Okay. Yes. Come and split. Who stole your two meat and sawed your soup? You! By the way, when last did you put meat in my soup? Mama, what is Am I not qualified to eat meat in this house? Have you brought money for the meat and you, you didn't get it? In our place, bad. Oh, okay, Pufo. Okay, Pufo. Onako. Ah. Onako. I'm glad you're calling me, me, me your, 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 your name. Be very careful. Do. Don't push me. Do. Be very, very careful, Onako. Papa, it's okay. Take it easy. Mama, what's the problem? No, no, what is your father? He's a thief. How would it sound when people hear that? I don't care as one. If that is the problem, let, let me give you money to make another pot of soup. That, that might solve the problem. Many people quarrel in this house. I don't like it. I mean, five thousand naira. Yes. I'm not like that. young. Papa, take put this one in your pocket. Why are you giving? Please don't use it on hot drinks so. Well, you know that is exactly daughter. what he would do. My daughter, thank you very much. Let me go and see a friend. Leave this useless woman alone here. <clears throat> My daughter, let me go and see a friend, eh? Papa, Papa, from Samuel, get in I will, I will. It's just to pass the information. Back and go. Back and go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you can't do anything. Nonsense. What is all this one, eh? What What is the problem? But it's not fair now. I can't take eight pieces of meat. What can you do? Is it, 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 it? Should people hear about such, such a thing? Mama, it's okay. You should learn to ignore some of these things at times. Eh? Oh, I should keep quiet while your father shouts at me. You know, let me even remind you. For some time I will not be using meat to cook in this house. Even last night there was you told me meat was not enough. So I'm sure that's the reason you people are quarreling. Oh, so now you're defending your father. Baba, Baba, Agatha, you are always defending your father. Is it because of this five thousand? See your money, take it back. Take it now. You don't want to take your money. Your younger sisters will not talk to me the way you're talking to me. They got 5,000 in well. There's something terrible happening in this house. And I want her to let you know about it before I take my decision. Okay, okay ma'am. No, ma'am, okay. He's a thief. Yeah? Huh? Oh, God forbid, mama. It's a pity God has already allowed it to happen. So, Ikobako, God forbid, doesn't arise. As I speak to you for today, 
he has already stolen two pieces of meat from the pot. Jesus. <laughs> How could he have done such a thing? A man at his age? Ha, Mama, this is a problem to all of us. So. How? How do you mean? Hmm. Yes, Mama. Hmm. Mama, if he is a thief, we, his daughters, would be referred to as daughters of a thief. And you, Mama, wife of a thief. God forbid. You mean people will call me wife of a thief because I'm a girl's loan? Yes, Mama. Hi! Hey. Mama, But Mama, He's her father and your husband. We all bear his name for our surname. It's better we keep our mouth shut. Let me tell you, it's better for him to stay in the house than to go outside and steal. They will kill him all. In other words, you're saying that we should not punish him. We should allow him to continue stealing up, yeah? My mama, he should be punished. No, mama. He's wrong in what he did. And there will be punishment for that. Yes. Yes. But um, let's not make it too severe. Instead of making it public, why not we impose embargo on serving him food without meat? Maybe for a week or two weeks. <laughs> You're talking. Uh, well, one or two weeks is not enough. Oh, Zuro. <laughs> I might consider three weeks to one month. Eh, that's like tampering uh, justice with mercy. Yes, sir. You got that way to. Uh. Did I get to know about this debate? <laughs> hey, Aga. Abusa Agata. No one is too close to her father now. Whether he does something wrong or right, she will always support him. So what's the point of telling her? Oh, prefer Gwalia. Yeah, come on, come on. Okay, so you have decided that we'll place the embargo. Yeah. No meat for him yes, mm -hmm. for the next one month. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, that's stop, 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 stop. justice mm -hmm. with mercy. So I'll eat his meat <laughs> and I'll eat my meat too. Ah! I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say You want to extend what by one month? Hmm? Partners in crime. Like mother, like daughters. <sighs> I overheard your discussions and the decision you have reached. Unako, you are just crying for two pieces of meat. This time around, even the fish in the soup pot will not be spared. In fact, let me tell you that uh, 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 the soup pot itself will begin to disappear. Huh? Yes! Where's the kind? What do you do? You just balance here and be taking, taking decision in my house. Huh? Open Diego Mwesi, Nyegegi Mwesi. Papa! Mama! Eh, Papa, me also. You see, God, I'm not afraid Shut up! Okay, we're here already. I, I decided to do it here because this place is more comfortable. But before we start, can we um, say a short prayer, please? <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for the peace that you are about to bestow upon this family. Father, we ask, O oh Lord God, that as we have this meeting, O oh Heavenly Father, that your understanding that surpasses all will come and dwell with us in the name of Jesus. That we will live in peace and unity in this house, O oh Lord God. That there will be no barrier, that there will be nothing to hinder us from your love in the name of Jesus. Let your peace continually reign in our midst. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Jane, Lizzie, 
The reason I called for this meeting is for us to discuss an ongoing issue. And this issue has been going on for a long time and I'm not happy about it. And this issue is none other than the embargo that was placed in this house that will be giving Papa food without meat. It's not good. We need to sort it out. <coughs> Agatha, if I'd known that was why you invited us for this meeting, it can't be from Eka. What is your problem? The issue has already been decided on. Voted three to one. Oh. So ne there's no going back. The decision has been made and it will it. Mama, this has nothing to do with who voted for who and who didn't vote for who. There's no electoral process ongoing here. We need to sort this thing out so that we will live in peace and harmony in this house. Okay, lady. Keka, how will we be giving Papa food without me? Don't worry, God. It has already been resolved. There is no going back on this issue. Period. Exactly. I'm not respecting such decision. It's tantamount to preaching disunity in this family, which you are preaching against. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, Jima, is that how you will lie? You're supposed to mind this issue. Yes. Yes. Eh? Is this is this how how you forget things so easily? Have you forgotten how Papa used to used to take care of us in this house? Eh? When everything was rosy, he could do anything for us. Anything we asked for, he did. How he, he even built this house we live in. Eh? Is it because things are now the way they are that you 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 are treating him like a commoner? Like a he's the head of this family for crying out loud. You should be joining me to, in begging, Mama. Begging, Mama. What? The decision is there. Mm -hmm. Six time. If any, all, all the English you spoke here was was. Now one young cook up. So let's leave that matter. And you're seeing joining Mama as if I'm a devil. No, Mama, it's not like that. No, like it, it's not as if. No, they should join me in begging you so that God be get that draw. Now I don't want that. That was before, was it? Kipa. Kipa now, coordinating the car don't know any. Where is Kipa? This embargo, no, we find a comma here. We are not going to lift this embargo. The embargo has to be lifted before you think of serving Baba food with the Hmm. Uh, May God have mercy. Agatha, wait. Yes. By my calculation, it remains about uh, a month and a few days. The embargo will be lifted. And Papa will start enjoying his usual food with it. Oh, come on. You people are supporting Mama. Yes. May God have mercy on you. And you too. And May you God too. have mercy on you. And you Mama, too. this thing that, that is happening in this house is it, not good. This is problem. We just pray that let God let His peace and understanding reign. But you people have you decided to, problem. To, to, to block it. Uh, you are doing a problem. By saying, say, you people are supporting Mama. That means Mama is evil. No. 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 Mama, Mama, in the name of force. No, I can't hear you. Mama, it's not with force. Mama, you cannot do that and mother. Mama, it's not with force. It's not with killing. It's not with force. Not with killing. They're so, they, 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 they making you Mama, add more. Mama, Mama the decisions have been taken. No meat for Papa. Who oh, stop? Oh, stop. So Mama, it's okay. Who oh, oh, stop? Who stop? Mama, you stop. Who stop? Who stop? Mama, 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 Papa, I called you here because I feel this is a safer place for us to have this discussion. Before I left for the office this morning, I had called Mama and my sisters to talk to them concerning what is going on in the house. But all I said to them fell on deaf ears. They're all insisting that they will continue with the embargo and nothing will be lifted and all of that. So, Papa, let's not go to that side. I want to ask you a big favor. Please, no matter how high the provocation is from that house, please do not respond. If you at best just leave the house when your temper begins to rise, please. I just don't want anything to escalate let's just live in peace i believe this is a wind is an evil wind and it will blow over when the time comes because i'm praying seriously about it i'm going to give you money so that you can buy whatever you need you can do whatever you want how much do you have from, from the one i gave to you the last time i still have uh, 500 naira left i'm going to give you some I just let them 
because I'm praying about it and I believe God will answer us. this to what you have already hey. and like I said don't use it on things that are not good for your health especially alcohol at this age you shouldn't be taking alcohol you should be taking water lots of water because of your age please my daughter what could I have done if I don't have a daughter like you I thank you so much. Thank you, Papa. No money made me down the grass. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Papa. You are more than very Like I was telling you, I was so, so sick that my wife was traumatized. She broke down. She was admitted in the same hospital. Her bed was next to mine. In a private hospital? Yes. In a private hospital? <sighs> did she equally receive healing just like you did? Yes, she was healed, but not instant like mine. What we noticed was that she was responding to treatment after the whole prayers. And then within three days, we left the hospital together. So this is wonderful, my daughter. <laughs> this is really, really wonderful. Did the result of the examination conducted after you were healed prove traces of such illness? Honestly, there was no trace of the illness anymore. Everything went off. Hmm. I'm still surprised. I never believed such thing still exists. I never believed also, but it has happened to me. I now believe it. Like I was telling you, mine was instant healing. After the prayer, I fell asleep. When I woke up, all the sickness was gone. I was totally healed. Honestly, this sounds strange to me. I still can't believe things like this exist. Okay, what about the patients that were still in the same hospital? The same? Did they still receive their own healing? Yes, doctor said a total of nine patients got healed the same day. Yes. It was also examined to be tested also, so the doctor confirmed it. That it was a, an act to approve medical explanation. That means that it was something about... <laughs> this is indeed a miracle. Seriously, a miracle. It's a miracle. I just thank God who, the way everything happened. But uh, I, I, I want to tell you something. I have gone to the church for Thanksgiving. But I still want to sow a seed onto the hands of those ladies God used to heal me. Yes. But do you know where to find them? I've made some inquiries and um, I have the addresses.
should have seen the way your father sat by the table with two plates of meat. One plate hot chicken, the other one beef. And then he stationed a bottle of malt and a packet of juice by the side. As he was eating this thing, he was dancing, singing, making merry. He just pretended that I wasn't there. While he was eating this thing, he found a woman in it. No, as a wife. My husband did not even look my way. Mama, Mama. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Mama, are you sure? You see, Mama, have I ever lied to you? I see the Golu Mona. I am telling you of what I saw. When did he change his brand from beer and palm wine to malt and fruit juice? How would I know? But that was what he was drinking on that day. But oh, Mama, are you really sure? Can't you tell my really sure? Nobody told me about it. I saw it with my two eyes. Mama, this is serious. Eh? Oh. But where did he get the money to buy all those things? I'm sure he has not received the pension money. Of course he has not. All your sister got Holy white. Do you know in my very presence, she gave him 2,000 naira. Yeah, and she did not give him more cousin. And I'm sure she must have given him more because that thing he was eating cost more than 2,000 naira. I calculate him. I'm an even See, eh? Can go home. Eh? Honestly. If I do not eat chicken, no matter what, Mama, I must eat chicken today. Mama, I don't think Lizzie and I have money to buy chicken now, no. We are discussing on how to go out and make a hunt for money when you call this. Yes, Mama. No, I, I'm not interested, though. If you want to go out and hunt for money, that's your business. I don't care how you do it, though. All I know is that I want to eat chicken. Tata! Mama, wait. Did you ask anybody to open your shop? My shop? Yes, that's of the fire. That one is not important. What is important is eat chicken. Get in the morning. Yes, she has and might have already gotten there. I hope there's no problem. No, not really, but something just crossed my mind. There's something I would have asked her to buy. And what is it? Oh, beef. Before we feed. That would be enough for us in this house. Mama. Hello. And then guess what? I am going to change my brand of drink from star to stout. Then I will combine it with juice. Just like your father combined his malt and juice. Yes, now. I am not ready to lose this competition. This contest may lose it. But Mama, this is not a contest. For me, it is a contest. Hey, what do you say now? I'm content to not go to the market with my uncle. You don't know your twin sister. She's very smart. She will know what to do. And the drinks we can buy across the room. On a top of a menu, we buy the drinks. When we have money, we will pay for that one. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I need you to call her and let her know. I would have used my phone, but I don't have the time. So, can I call her? Let's go on. 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 Same, breast and bottom, not the same size. Oh, hey. America, wonder. 
you want be photocop? Which you want be original? Confusion will go kill somebody. Oh, my lady, my boy, yo, yo. She born a jima, oh, my son, the question. Now, which one be your baby? Now, which one chop your money? A bunka, a bunka, a boy, a boy, my lady, my boy, yo, yo. She born a jima. This means you are going. I will allow your father. Of course, I don't have a choice. He can smell it. I'll allow him to see it. Maybe I might be kind enough to allow him to touch it. But I will not let him taste it. Mama, how can you allow him to touch it? So it's longer through to grow longer. <laughs> Mama, there is bad news. Our plan has been thwarted. How? Papa is not in the house. I called him to find out where he is. He told me that he traveled to the village. I won't be coming back to him. Hi. What can we go more? Eh? So all our plans, that's it. Yes, no. I was looking forward to seeing that man crying and feeling frustrated when he would have been watching us drinking and eating. What, what, what do we do now? Mama, we cannot wait for him. Oh. Okay. We have to go ahead and eat what we are cooking. And plan for him another day. Uh, but Jane, remember, Mama said if she doesn't eat the food in presence of Papa, in presence of Papa, she will fall sick. Uh -uh. So, Mama, what do you do? Mama, let me tell you something. We will suspend that issue of falling sick. <laughs> Mama. For now, we will enjoy ah, the food. Mama. Yes, now. And prepare for your father another day, just like your sister said. Okay. Go and check it. Where are you going? Please leave me. Please leave me. There's no place to go. No stealing in the kitchen, no. No stealing. What kind of glass are you making? I don't want us to treat one another 
as enemies in this house. I want us to live in peace. Just like you and Papa now. I want both of you to live just the way the Bible has described your union. That the man will cling onto his wife and the two shall become one flesh. One flesh? Give me a key for I, Omar, the lioness, the daughter of Ezo Dumud. Leave us, Guinea, please. It's not possible. That drunk, I got the nature's prefetch. It's okay, it's all right. But let me just um, go to the matter I want to discuss with you. I have been praying for a very long time, and I believe God has answered my prayers because we will live in peace and harmony in this house. That has been what has been disturbing me, and I just came to tell you that God has answered the prayers, and very soon we will begin to see God's hand in this family. There will be peace in this family. Until Anoka learns to share with his with, with his wife and children. Get the Obitoni Elysia, let him share with us. Then there will be peace. Everything will be alright. When? When will everything be alright? I don't know when. Mm -hmm. But God knows when. Another thing is I have spoken to Papa and I'm going to speak to my sisters as well. I want us to go and meet Pastor Robinson for prayer and counseling. He said I should come with everybody. If you go, you and your pastor, come on, get me. Pastor Robinson, Nena Fonas, why can't he answer a local name? I don't need his prayer and counseling. When I need prayer and counseling, I know where to go to. It's only your father you think about. You've already told him. He's the only one you care about. That's why you keep giving him money like no man's business. I might also give you 5,000 naira. The 5,000 naira you gave me was to cook for the whole family. My name is 2000 in Kakamba. Didn't you? Now you have a shop at a cool market. And at every time my salary is paid at the end of the month, I give you 5000 Oh! You see? You're now announcing to the whole world that you give me 5000 Naira. You can keep your money, oh. I told them, no, I like that. You can keep your money. I've heard you. You know, when I need peace and counseling, I will go to my own pastor. Because I was meditating before you entered this room. Just leave me. In peace. Let me continue with my meditation. Thank you. Andrew! Present. I did hear. You did hear? You're totally messed up. Open the gate for me. Good afternoon. <laughs> so how was the wedding? I hope you people enjoyed yourselves. Yes, Mama. Everything was fine. There was enough food and drinks for everyone. Which was okay. Before, <laughs> before God, there should be enough food and drinks for people. Did they invite people to starve? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, by the way, did they have some good uh, personalities at the wedding? Yes, Mama. There were many civil servants and businessmen alike. Importers and exporters, Mama. In fact, the hall was filled to the capacity and there was overflow. Are you serious? Yes, Mama. Nem. It all been filled to capacity, I mean, or anything. Because usually, someone invited guests at the one that filled the hall to capacity and caused the overflow. What I'm asking is, were there some important dignitaries and personalities that graced the occasion? I said, Naju, personalities like um, governors. Senators, members of House of Representatives, where they can now. Mama, the MC did not mention any such dignities. In fact, none came, none attended. So, why are you saying that the wedding was good? I told her. <laughs> but you enjoyed it. Hey, 
That means it's an ordinary wedding you went for. It's the kind of wedding we see every day. Every day they come home, we are wedding. You come home, they marry. Your own wedding will not be like that. Amen. Yes, so you see your own wedding. Your own must be attended by some serious political dignitaries. Mm -hmm. The creme de la creme of the nation. Hey. Mama, mama, <laughs> let it be to us as we pray. Amen. I have finished the prayer and so shall it be. Amen. Thank you. Hey, Pico, by the way, she came to see me. Uh, she said that her pastor wants to see us if we can follow her to their church. Why? The pastor wants us to come for prayer and counseling. I want for. Is it for everybody? It's for everybody. Uh -huh. That's why I'm telling you now. So you will know the answer you will give her. Me, I've already told her I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what are you more than me? Mama, you don't need to bother yourself. Yeah. When she comes to us, I was on my way to Philadelphia, Amarachi. Uh -huh. I was waiting for Keke, but I think now I will walk. Let me try so that I can. Mama, you need to do some exercise. Now. And get them <laughs> for you that need... wedding I'm talking about. Yes, you need... yes, yes, I'll see you. Need... you. You said you've come to look for one of my daughters. Yes. I see. So when did this happen? Uh, it's two days ago. It's even somebody that saw them that day that directed me on how to locate your house. I see. So what do I will call out my daughters. Thankfully, they are home. If any of them admits to taking the, the cock from you, I will pay. I will complete the difference. Oh? Okay. Uh, so what do um, Agatha! Aggie! Yeah? Good morning, Ma. Mama, you called me? Yes. Aggie, did you buy any cock from this woman's shade two days ago? No. She he did not. not. Is she the one? No, Mama, she's not the person. If I see the person, I'll recognize her. She's even now. Back up, back up. Why you? Aggie, call your sisters, Jane and Lizzie. Jane, Jane, no! Mama, she's the one. Look at her. She's the one that bought the cock. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, she's the one. She's the one that bought the cock. The one that did what? I don't understand. They said you came to my shop two days ago and collected two cup without completing your payment. Me? Yes. What you're talking about? Papa, I did not go to your shop let me buy any cup from your shop. Please, where is your shop? Madame, you going in. If she had been to your shed, I would have known. Because I would have been the one to send her. She did not go to your shop. Besides, she just said that she doesn't know where your shed is. Hey! Shoma, well, are you sure of the person you saw? I'm sure she's the one. I just say the truth now. Why are you doing this now? Say the truth. You're the one that put the cup now. Who's going to hear now? Oh, come on now. You don't understand. Shoma. Which of them did you say that bought the cup for you? I don't know. I said, please, I'm sorry, please. Don't be another very sorry. Mom, is this person that bought the cup? She's the one that kept her shop and bought the Bought what? Are you out of your senses? Mama, I don't know what the bought. to embarrass us. Madam, you, you've heard her. This is your daughter. There's something wrong with her. You see her, the man. She doesn't even know what she's saying. I'm sure she must have been the one that sold the cup and spent the money or cooked it and ate it with her boyfriend. You see, I don't know my psych here. Nonsense. Are you sure she's the one that bought the cup for you? Mommy, mommy, she's the one. Okay, do you know what? If none of them agrees that they bought the cup, then it's both of them. Ah, what is this thing? How can you oh, shake up to both of it's them? It's both of them that bought it, huh? Since you cannot agree that you are the one, and this one is saying she's not the one, but it's both of you now. Oh, if you want to I will call the police. Come on, come on, Are you mad? You don't feel that for me. Please don't beat her for me, okay? Look at this idiot. Sir, I got something for me. 
you know what? Carry your, your, your mad daughter and take out of my compound now. Una mara nya tala ku kunu na bia ba na chonye giga ku gwa ofu. Let's go. I'm off here. 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 I'm off <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie, Jay, are you going out? Yes, I was just coming from the room and I I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I just wanted to remind both of you of the prayer meeting we have with the pastor by 11 a.m. today. It's a must meet. We it's have to important. meet him. We have looked at it. There's no reason we should attend. Let's go. Why? Your problem is that your thoughts and mind are always obsessed by prayer. That you cannot look inward and see the great opportunity open for you, which you fail to utilize. Which, op which opportunity opened for me? Explain, Biko. Wait. Are you not the one in charge of all the tithes and offerings? Collected from your church every Sunday service? Uh -huh. I am, and what about it? And after collection, you submit it to the same pastor? Of course. Who else am I supposed to submit it to if not the pastor? Agatha, if I were you, I would have made everybody in this family rich than rushing to the pastor to book a prayer for us. Yeah? I don't understand. Wait. Make me understand because I'm not understanding. You want me to put my hand inside God's money, bring it out and give to you. Before uncle. Hey, bam bam bam. This is not a human talk. Because I'm a channel. This is the devil walking through you people. Which costs money? Many people do it. Hmm? Not only the church that needs the money. People like us need the money. Look at our house. Just look. Take a look. Look at the house. Can't you just change the face of this house? You're very wicked. And it's not of the devil. We have spoken our mind, only that you fail to understand. You're very wicked though. Have a nice day. Jesus Christ. My Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you a sinner. I come to you a sinner. I ask you. I ask you. To use your precious blood. To use your precious blood. And wash away my sins. To wash away my sins. Dwell in me richly. Dwell in me richly. Do with me what thy will. Do with me what thy will. Henceforth. Henceforth. I make you my personal Lord. I make you my personal Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For washing away my sins. For washing away my sins. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Amen. It is settled. You are henceforth a child of the Almighty God. You are a son of God. All you need to do is to move in this understanding that you are a son of God. As a child of God, you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's very important to you. I want you to move in this spirit. And because you're born again, you will begin to receive the benefits of salvation because you're born anew in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, You're welcome. You're welcome. There's something that is very important about this. Are you sure you don't partake in any activity that does not give glory to the Almighty God? Yes. Yes, Pastor. But Pastor, what are those activities that do not give glory to God? Let me know them and keep away from them. Oh, they are made bare in the scripture. They are clearly written here. As it is written in the book of Exodus chapter 20 and Galatians chapter 5. 
The Bible made it clear that you don't have to murder, you don't have to commit adultery, you will not steal, you will not hate, etc. As you begin to study the scripture, you will keep seeing them from Genesis even down to Revelation. Thank you, Pastor. I will try my best to study the Bible. But Pastor, let me ask one question. Can it be considered as bowing down to idols or serving them if I sacrifice a cock or a goat to the, to, to the gods of my ancestors? The gods of your ancestors are idols. They are graven images. Your Gugu, your Ebunu Babi, they are graven images. God does not permit us to do that. Okay. Can I give somebody to do it on my behalf? This is how Christians I know do it. No. Not at all. That's hypocrisy. The Christians who practice that, who do what you just said now, are fake Christians. They are hypocrites. Our Lord Jesus Christ talked so much about them. He said in the scripture that thou shalt not serve two masters at a time. No servant does that. It's either you disobey this and obey this, or disobey this and obey this, and you cannot serve God and man. Those ones who go behind and give uh, chickens and whatever to their kinsmen to go and do sacrifice to the idols for them, they are not doing themselves any good thing. They are not, they are serving two masters. I told you, Papa, there's no way you'll be in Christ and serve God and mammon. It's not possible. You will choose. Either you serve God as or you serve mammon. You can't serve the two at the same time. I hate him very well. And uh, he has made enough explanations to convince me. With the word of God, you shall conquer. Shall push and Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, how much did you say is the last one for the only way? The only, that size. Uh, it's 600 naira. Ah, madam, it's still on the high size now. High size? 600 naira. The last price is 600 naira. Okay. Okay. It's either you're buying it or you're not buying it. Because... Okay, let me pay 500. Okay, now bring it. Bring it. I don't have one hundred naira change. You when you come back, I'll get some. Let me get some. So that way. All right. That is it. I'm going to compile it and I will bring it to you. That's the new members. That is better. I prefer it. Let me then go and see Mrs. Susan for that one. Yes, okay. I promise you, get that list before Saturday. Okay, I will do that. Are you not back? <laughs> Um, my name is uh, Okechuku Ezeka. I am looking for Sister Beta. Is she at home? Uh, Maka can go home. Yes, ma'am. Well, she is back from work, but she went to the church for a service. Can I help you? I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I came to see her for six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah, I'm going to cousin Uloisi. Wait, you expect her to sow the seed here, or you want her to follow you home to sow the seed? Uh, well, my is not that kind of a, a seed. I'm talking about a seed of. Her. You should have said so since now. You sit off in there, you go to the church and do the offering. And you put it back and all up. 
It's not such a good idea. What you are dangerous. You blow the food, sit off it, you put them up and mad. How come you feel good? I'm so sorry, but I should be on my way. Let me. Take uh, I leave. Oh, no. Nah, please sit down. Sit down. Oh, when you will please sit down. You did not explain it very well to me now. Uh, I didn't know you wanted to sow a seed. Uh, it's okay, you can sow the seed here. Uh, exactly. We'll make sure she gets it. Uh, you see, she prayed for me. Yes, actually she prayed for me and uh, the sick bed. I got healed. Yes, so... Uh, I'd already gone to the church for uh, for Thanksgiving, oh. so I decided to come and meet her one on one and give her an offering. She went to the church. <laughs> we can drop the offering. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, we'll give it all that damn one. Give it, I give. <laughs> oh, I will do just that. Uh, it's alright. That's my number. Yeah. She can get me through. Okay. She won't call you. So I should be on my way now. Hey, my now. What do we offer you? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Maybe next time. Next time. Same offering. Thanks for the seed offering. <laughs> okay. This is the second time I'm hearing this. That she can actually pray for people and they get healed. All of us gain one family. Supposed to have the same kind of gift. At least we go to church like she does. And we can even pray more than her. I could call you. Do not pray more than her. Mama, who said? Agatha prays through the night and Agatha fasts. So if you want to possess that kind of gift, you have to be prayerful, very, very. And you need to fast. Mama, I can't do that. Mama, I cannot do it. I know I can't do it. Yeah, but Mama, I need it. We all need it. I think we have made a very costly mistake by not following her to go and see her pastor when he wanted us to come. Perhaps one of us would have gotten the same kind of gifts and be praying for sick people as well, getting our gifts, money, everything from them too. Biko, biko, biko. Don't make me laugh. Don't allow this when we're 20,000 confuse you, my daughter. This is too small now. Yeah? So now you're seeing yourself as a pastor or what? Yeah, Mama. Anyway, I think that what we have to do now, hmm? since Agatha has refused to bring the tithes and offerings to the house, yes, we'll have to be as sharp and as alert as the cat to see whenever these things will come and we we'll just yes. grab it and enjoy it. Okay, like this one, there's no way she would know that he came. Because she doesn't have the man's phone number. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And the man too doesn't have her own. Yeah. And we're not going to tell her. Tell who? The Baba guys said they know that. But that's for the first thing I pray, you know. We invited you to this meeting. So you can explain to us directly. The content of your letter was so shocking. But since you are here in flesh and blood with us, we would like to hear from the horse's mouth. So tell us why you stated in your letter that you will not be joining us 
to offer sacrifices to the gods of our ancestors. And at the same time, by requesting us to come and remove the effigies and the images of our gods, domiciled in Obidibo's family compound for ages, and for which our people offered their yearly sacrifices. Mm. Thank you, my fellow elders and uh, my kinsmen. It is a personal decision based on personal belief. And I still stand by the content of the letter, for I took it willingly. And I beg you, please, bear with me. Anoka. I am afraid that some evil forces are working against you with the aim to eliminate you from the society and destroy you. <laughs> Okonta, you don't know me. No evil force can destroy me. The greater is he that is in me than he that is in all the evil forces put together. Hmm? Yes. I am the child of the only true and one God. No weapon. Formed, made, carved, or forged against me will prevail. Never. Never. It will never prevail. Eh? Look at what is coming out of his mouth. Did that tell you that something is wrong somewhere and with him? Eh? Actually, there must be something wrong. Yes. Eh? Nothing is wrong, Mazu Daja. Mm. I know who I am. Mm. I mean that I am a heavenly candidate dwelling on earth. And because of my nature, I now completely abstain from anything that will not give glory to the Almighty One. Such as... Uh, Huh? Or returning in my house any object that will be used to serve any idol of any type, which is not in accordance with the commandments of God. Um, Anoka, count me out. Anoka, so the long and short of your story is that you still maintain your stand. And I have no regret. And will forever maintain my ground we've had you we've had you it's all right it's all right um may the peace of the lord be unto you people they did everything they could to see if i would change my mind I stood my ground. They were surprised. It was very hard for them to believe what I told them. Hmm. Papa, I am very impressed with the way you responded to them. It, it goes to show that your knowledge for the things of God and God himself is growing every day. When next they come, they will see the evidence that you are clearly part of God's family. I hope so. <laughs> Honestly, now, I hope so. Let us um, go further into the word of God. I want to tell you about God himself as God, then God as in three persons, the tripartite nature of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, which interprets him as God in three persons, as the Holy Trinity. So it is God the Father, one person, God the Son, one person, God, the Holy Spirit, one person. So it's three amazing. in one. That's amazing. Hey. Three persons. Yes. Yet one God. Yes. These are uh, three persons. Yes. Uh, uh, do they include those ones that said uh, a false God? Like Ogubu, uh, Ugunu uh, <laughs> Papa, no. Those ones are false gods. 
they are not of God. And the Bible clearly instructs that we should not worship idols. We should not worship um, graven images. But we should worship only God, the only true God. So that is it. Let, let's look at uh, Excuse this. me. Uh, there is something uh, I still don't understand about this uh, Holy Spirit. You address him as person. Is he really a person? <laughs> Yes, he is a person. Let's look at the scripture and it will help us understand what I mean by God, um, the Holy Spirit being a person. John chapter 14, verse 16 to 18. And it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, as the Holy Spirit is the Spirit mm -hmm. of truth as well, whom the world cannot receive, the world as in the unbelievers, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. He is referring to the Holy Spirit as a person because God the Father, God the Son, has, had come to the earth to die for our sins, and he was returning to his father because he has fulfilled all um, he has fulfilled scriptures by dying for our sins making us the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus so the Holy Spirit is a person whom he left he told his disciples I will not leave you comfortless when he was um, ascending to heaven he says I will not leave you comfortless but I will leave you with the Holy Spirit who will comfort you so the Holy Spirit is our guide he's our counselor he's our comforter when we are in trouble, when we need direction, when we need anything, the Holy Spirit who dwells in us, as the Bible says, is there to guide us. He is God's resident person on earth. Mm. Yes. So since the, the Holy Spirit is resident on earth, yes. it means that one day he will come down to us in this city and preach the gospel <laughs> <laughs> so that i'll have the opportunity to meet him one on one Papa, <laughs> the holy spirit is indwelling in us mm. and remember the bible says that he will send us a comforter who will be with us so that is god's representation here mm. so he is here he's everywhere he's with you he's with me he's everywhere he sees everything god knows everything there's nothing that is hidden from him which then means that he knows what I'm passing through. Huh? What I'm passing does. through in this house. In the hands of that woman that calls herself Onoka. Oh, eh? In fact, I will look for him and make my complaint. Papa, hmm? you can only reach him through prayers. Searching within yourself. Knowing that you are clear. Making your um, complaints to him. Sharing it with him. Then he will lead you around. Enough! Okay. Enough! Oh, yeah. How about this? You've been talking about me. Oh, God, when I'm okay, you talk about me. Why can't you keep your peace? And the most painful thing is that you talk about me with that dirty mouth of yours. Keep your peace. And that's for you, Agatha. If you think it's only you and your father that will go to heaven, watch us on that day. Myself, Jill, and uh, uh, Lizzie we will march forward before you people enter. Mama, please don't be angry. We were not discussing about who's going to heaven or not. We we're just sharing the gospel ah! and reading the scripture. Mm -hmm. Reading the scriptures indeed. Reading the scriptures. Let me tell you, if you think you will report me to the Holy Spirit and get away with it, I say, because I will report you to the Holy Ghost. And you know the Holy Ghost is stronger because it comes with fire. Mama, the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit is, is the same person. There's no difference. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit only comes with spirit, but the Holy Ghost fire comes with fire. And that's what people say, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. If you try my nonsense, I give you fire. Onak, you cannot do anything. You're just talking about what you don't know. Wezeka. Try Try and that's for you. Trying to teach me that Holy Ghost fire is the same with the Holy Spirit is a lie. I will go and discuss it with my spiritual director. Whatever he tells me is what I think. Hey, um, 
So baby, when am I going to see you again? A um, month end. Month end? Uh, come on, month end is not a date. Okay. Um, okay, 25th. June 25th, yes. Okay, June 5th. Then I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the 25th, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no worry, yeah? I'll call you, huh? Okay, no problem. Take care of yourself. I will. <laughs> What is good about this money? Eh? Nana, what is good about this money? Where are you coming from? You did not tell anybody you will spend the night outside. Where are you coming from? Mama, I'm sorry. I never knew I was going to spend the night outside. Did you hear yourself? Mama, I'm sorry. I never knew I was going to spend the night outside. What happened? Where are you coming from, Nana? I went to visit my friend Izzy. I forgot to tell you that she was going to have a baby party yesterday. I'm so sorry, and I decided to spend some time with her. So when I close from work, I went to see her. I never knew that was going to last in uh, It's okay. But well, please, eh? in case such a thing happens any other day, call us on phone. If you cannot call your father, you call me now. We called your number several days, and it was saying not available. That was when all of us got worried. Very eh, big no? So, how was the ceremony? So, very, very wonderful. <laughs> so, please, Papa, you see? Hey, he just went out. I'm also on my way to the market. Oh, okay. Look for something and eat, eh? I'm coming back. I'm going to buy me something. Oh, I will. their numbers and those that were sick testified to us that they received miraculous healings thank you lord glory hallelujah 
Hallelujah. The word of God is so quick. It is powerful. It's so active. Who? It has started manifesting, showing wonders as it did in the land of Ephesus in the scripture. So the prison officer did not object to your request? Not at all. It was so amazing, Pastor. They were even asking us when we were going to come back again. Jesus. And next week we shall need a turn of the Marketplace. Amen. We are going to visit the whole of Marketplace who is in this city. Amen. That is so important. Yes. It's very important. Yes. I think we need to tell the Lord for this. Thank you. meeting at the church. Yeah. Yes, it starts by 5. 5 is about 4.30. That means you have 30 minutes to get ready and get there. Ah, I will take a taxi. Besides, you know, even though they say it's 5, the meeting actually starts by 5.30. So I'll get there and time. Did anyone come looking for me? Yes, one um, Mrs. Zobia and the husband. And they came to see you. I think they come to your office because I told them you were at the office. No, no, not them. I mean, a Mr. Okechuku. He, he said he came here with his seat fees of 20,000. Oh! Mr. Okechuku, you should have told me that. Yes! He came, he, he, he brought the offering. Where is it? I need to physically pray on it. Oh, the offering? Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry, it's no more available. Wow. Well, you stayed for something very important. Mama, that's someone's seed fit. It's, it's seed fit is your sweat, somebody's sweat that is cash. You bring it out. And as in, you bring it out and tie it to something you want God to do for you. It's it's in they don't touch that kind of money. They don't it's wow I some I didn't know the kind of money that comes from sweat one I didn't know but hard work as in the money oh. you want God to do you are taking something that is of you know of, of importance to you and giving to God in return for, for, for blessing. Wow. But I use it for something very important. That wasn't if I, if I tell you what I use it for you will thank God that I used it. You know, there is this woman I've been going. She came here and insulted me. I used that rubber. She called me all kinds of names. I wanted to fight her. But somebody advised me that her son is a criminal. And I said, instead of the son coming to kill me, and then you people spending a lot of money to bury me, let me just carry this offering money and give to her. But don't worry. When I make profit, I will pay back. Mama, don't you request it? Yes, now. You should not be telling lies. But I'm not lying now. I said I'll give you back the money. Okay, you want to pay on the money. You so much wrong. Why don't you pay on the money spiritually? Whatever it is, when it eventually comes, it will do what it, it, it's meant to, to do now. I need to physically hold the money and pray over it. Agatha, you are a spiritual woman. Close your eyes. Imagine the money in your palms spiritually and spiritually pray over it. Cover it spiritually and the blessings will go back to you, Mr. Kichu, that sent in the money. I thought that I will be late for the seat. Because get me my handbag, the one with the gold watch. Come by, look at it. Eh? I need to look good going to church. Why are you staring at me like that? Make it even me, Bubiko. It's a spiritual thing. Does my scarf look good? Very good. Does it fit? And the lipstick or match? You see, if Christianity is a judged by men for sick animals, one would see more of you as two Christians. But our Lord Jesus Christ made it clear in the scripture that they that must worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth. But you are neither doing that. You are hypocrites. You wash the outer part of the cup and leave the inside dirty. How could both of you? How could 
to both of you who are not yet married, you have not been wedded in this church, live in the same place, in the same house. And you go on fornicating, moving from hotel to hotel. See, see, even as you sit before me now, you are so stinking that you are, you are stinking before me because of your righteous state. Pastor, I am very sorry. I don't know what the problem is. I, I still fall back into the same temptation. Please, I'm sorry. It's not about being sorry. It's not about telling me that you are sorry. It's about going down your knees before your Almighty God in your closet and talking to Him to forgive you, to wash your sins away. It's about restitution. Look at you. Look at you. A Christian who has so much exercise in his faith to the extent that you took the idol of the Father, you burnt it and made the Edens to be unhappy with you. You're exposing your life. You're making yourself an easy prey to them. And let me tell you this, all of you. If I get this report again about you, I will suspend you from this church. I will let you death the image of this holy temple. Thing is this because the pastor embarrassing me before my girlfriend. Oh, and this is the way she had with him at his church. She's not gonna see me here again. I swear to God. What a bitch is this man? No way. There's something I want us to discuss. What could that be? Come on, it's late. Can't you? I'm already in bed. Can't we just discuss tomorrow morning? Huh? No, please. It's something that needs urgent attention. U urgent attention? Yes, it needs prompt attention because tomorrow might be too late. What could that be? Okay, go on and listen. I'm sorry to have disturbed your sleep, but I have no other option than to wake you up. Because my mind has not been at rest since after the pastor spoke with us. I suggest we should confess our sins and ask God to forgive us. Because it's clearly against the will of God that we'll have sex before getting married. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Because I want to boldly embrace the throne of grace and settle the matter straight with God. And I want you to please do the same with me. Rosalind, are you done preaching? Huh? See, if I had known that this is the rubbish you call me this late hour to tell me, I wouldn't have picked your call. Okay, you know what? Just go ahead. Since you have decided not to do what I say, it's now what your pastor said. Go ahead, but don't call my line again. Don't call this number again. 
can go ahead and live your life the way you want it. It's none of my business. Do you understand? No, wait, please, wait. Hello? Hello? that I've sinned against you. But I've come with a broken and a repentant heart, like the prodigal son. Please do not reject me, O Lord. Renew a loyal spirit within me, and do not take your presence away from me, God. Nor let your Holy Spirit away from me. Blot out the stains of my sins, and wash me clean from the guilt of my fornication. Restore to me, O oh God, the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Did he die? You know, he was groaning and rolling in pains throughout the night. Then this morning, before we could help him, he was gone. He was dead. Mm. Yes. No! I'm No, 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 no. No! I'm I'm not chasing a naya barrage. I'm not chasing a naya barrage. I'm not chasing a new puya 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 barrage. I'm not chasing a new Madonna Mwende Mwakananya. He poked his fingers into the eyes of the gods when he threw his late father's medicine back into the fire. Even Nanuani Wefu Kamata na Wope Nilanya Onochie deliberately incurred the wrath of the gods and the gods struck him down. If anybody had told me this was how on a chair would end his life, I wouldn't stop any people. No. I still cannot understand why why such a fate befell him. Even if he should die, he wouldn't have died like this. Why death? Why? I'm not here. Why? I understand the pain and grief in your heart. But please, dear, take heart. And don't allow yourself to be wet down with show. I am really, really worried, is it? 
anything. Does it mean there is nothing we can start doing? Why are we waiting for everybody to return? Can't we even arrange for the digging of the grave? Can't we? No, stop that. No, no, no. Eh? No, we cannot do anything until he returns. We must hear from the gods first before we do anything. Exactly. Eh? We must hear from the gods. It is very necessary. Is it? Very. Even you? You're in support of this? Yes. I know what I'm saying, what I'm saying now. I'm about to hear him today, him to go. Okay. Let's, Let's wait for the gods now. Let's be patient. That's it. Okay. Patience. I'm going to die I am in shock. The entire community is in shock. Because such has not happened in a long while. For somebody to die in our community and instantly got swollen. It's, a more, uh, it's, a more, it's been long such happened. The gods always strike to avenge. Some elders were here to report the matter of his sacrilegious acts in the community. And I told them, the gods will always revenge the culprit with death and swelling. It has happened. I said it. As in my was told so, one elder that I'm very close to also told me that you said it. No, it's not in doubt. You know, that's why they sent me at least to avert any danger that might be on the way. As in my, what do we do? Help us, please. Did the church people take the body? No, they did not. They said it's been long he left them. So they, they didn't come. <laughs> that makes it easier. I would have cautioned against the church touching the cops. The cops should be brought to the shrine for rituals and sacrifices to the gods before the corpse will be taken to the evil forest there it will be thrown into just like that yes that is the custom if the body is buried in the bowel of the earth the entire family will be wiped out <laughs> Let me go and tell them what you said, please. I beg to take my leave. Eh? I want them on the road. The police. Who is that? Eh? But can you just take this and close the door? I'm not in. Eh? What do you have to say? I'm not in. But can you just take this and close the door? Eh? Hein? Udaja, you came with your kinsman. Has anyone died in your community? As a more, nobody has died. We are having problem with one of our kinsmen, who recently has joined the church people and requested of us as a matter of urgency to come and remove the refugees and images of the ghosts of our forefather domiciled in his house for ages. Yes. Hmm. That's an abomination. Who is he? He's Amoka, the son of Ike Diora, Obidibo. Ike Diora. Ike Diora. Ike Diora, Obidibo.
the chief priest of Ebunu Bade. Uh. That died many years ago. Wow. Oh. Noka is his first son. He was supposed to inherit the chief priesthood from his father. But was bad by the custom because he wasn't present to perform the necessary rituals as the first son during the father's burial. Because of that, the priesthood was transferred to the son of his late uncle. But custom still demands that those objects through which we offer yearly sacrifice to our gods should remain in his house. The house he inherited from his ancestors, Obidibo. Yes. Where was Anoka when his father was buried? As a mom, he had a serious accident and was hospitalized. We all thought he would die, but he survived it. Mm. Mm. See? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He abandoned the gods that saved him with disdain and profanity. Has he gone insane? No, the more that I don't know. Nobody can tell. Hey, gentlemen. Hmm? So, what do you people want the gods to do for you? Is him. We want him to have a change of mind and allow those objects to remain where they are kept. We want him to learn like all the Christians who are living with us, who are leaders in their various churches, and yet do not despise our customs and traditions, but remain supportive to salvage it from extinction. There's the more. That is the first step. Yes. But if he remains adamant, we will have no other choice than to let the gods unleash their anger on him. Ah. Mm. Yes. When next are you going to meet with him? Um, uh, on the next Kwamake uh, day. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Quand Madon, the Chelichi Akamba. Njo, Madon, the Chelichi Akamba. Okonoya Bakato, Kriko Bakato, Kriko I'm going to give you people a substance. You will go home. Mix the substance with one another. Wash everything you are going to eat or drink, including the cola nuts, with it. Call his name seven times during this process. Make sure he eats or drinks from whatever you people are going to eat or drink there that was washed with that same water. Once that is done, he will always listen to you. He will always consent to whatever you say. Huh? Don't you think it will affect us when we eat or drink from you?
Today we are going to conclude on uh, the topic on the Holy Spirit and um, how He helps us in certain areas of our lives. First of all, let's look at Romans 8, 20, 20, yes, Romans 8, 26 to 27. When the Bible says that likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercessions for us according to the will of God. So what this portion of the, of the Bible is trying to tell us is that when we want to pray for some things in our lives and we want to pray amidst the Holy Spirit comes to help us with our intercession by groanings, words we cannot express, words we can, our minds cannot fathom but our spirit man because we are connected to heaven understands it. He causes us to pray not amiss but to pray according to the will of God so that's the first one so the second one what the Holy Spirit does is that he helps to renew our minds he helps us to do that's will in heaven here on earth you know the the, um, the, the prayer that says let your will yeah, be done yes here on earth so it will cause heaven to be interpreted interpreted here on earth so the holy spirit will help us renew our minds and help us to pray according to the will of god the third one is that when we now decide to pray in our understanding the holy spirit puts the right words in us so that we do not utter words that will not you know be according to god's will so he puts the right words in our mind that's why you find out that when people pray they, after the groaning and the speaking in, in different tongues when they speak like, like when the pastors are praying, they pray and they hit the nail on the head. That's when the Holy Spirit puts the right words in our mouths to pray. So I'm going to give you two portions of the Bible you read and understand. And when next we meet, I will teach you. <laughs> I'm sounding like a teacher. <laughs> so when next we meet, we'll now discuss the next lesson. So it is um, Ephesians 4, 23 and Romans 12, verse 2. Just open it and fold it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4:23 and Romans 12 verse 2. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. I told you, people. I told you that all she would do is shout and keep quiet, and that was exactly what she did. <laughs> then she tried to catch all me. She said I should bring out the money. She will pray over it. After praying over it, she will hand the money over to me. <laughs> Man, I trust your mother. I just told her the money has traveled. I trust you. I know there's no way she's going to win the argument. How can she win the argument? But, Yapadio, I think we need to form a prayer group. Yes, because Akata and Anoka, your father, have already formed one. Yes, Mama. Three of us are equal to the past. Henceforth, we shall all be praying as a group. Yes, sir. It's very important. Do you know, as I was coming out, I saw her with the Bible sneaking into your father's room for fellowship and prayers. So one of them, it is better we start our own thing, you know. Mama, it's very important too. We need to come together so that any time they pray back prayer against us, we will respond back to it and need telling you. When we form our crew, once they fire us, we fire back. We return the fire. Yes, ma'am. Pee. Yeah. You got to go. Mm. Mm. 
as no bana boko bu na ti chiriye iji jin tike de sozi ara na nini eh ko e meto weli si eburu o me gonu o me rago lift this body I know is that they must come to a conclusion today at the end of their deliberation. Hey, Mama, mm -hmm. why must Anoka insist that those things be removed? Are they blocking his passage? Hey, Nena, Nena, Anoka is the one who wears the shoe and he knows where it pinches. Anoka is now a born again. He's now a new man in Christ. There is no way he would allow those fetish objects in his house. I don't know, man. Well, they said those things have been there since ages. Anika should listen to reason and stop being obstinate. It will cost him anything to allow those things remain where they were kept. Nana. Nana. Get in the name of the American Lady Nakemek. Men you work again, you build. Christian, and you should behave like one. We don't have anything in common with those fetish objects. I na yung waro meko. Me ukuku ne e e e e e gori e gori ne ne ne. We have seen it. It is the king's cooler. It remains in his hands. Um, uh, you can go ahead and bless the cooler. Since you people insist, I will oblige you. <clears throat> but you will permit me to address the cooler in the language cooler understands. Cooler does not understand the English. <laughs> uh, and by I had not know. I didn't catch nature. I I Ebo 
in other words, what I'm trying to say is that you have to be born of the Spirit to be a Christian and to live as a Christian, you have to be led by the Spirit of God continually. It has to be part of you, daily living. You breathe the Word of God, you speak the Word of God, you walk in the will of God. That is the only way you can live a fruitful life. This lesson concludes our lesson on the Holy Spirit, but it doesn't mean we cannot revisit it again as the Spirit needs to go through that. But I also want to remind you, Papa, tomorrow starts our prayer and fasting that will commence next tomorrow. Okay, uh, but uh, forget. I will know, but the problem is that uh, I'll be meeting with the elders next tomorrow now. Meeting with the elders that's next tomorrow does not mean it will disturb you or stop you from doing your doing the prayer and fasting. It is between you, me, and God. Okay, no problem. Uh, nobody will force anything on me. You can't force anything on you. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Take it and stand around. Anoka said you will not eat the cola nut. Anoka, is there anything the matter? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I'm okay. Why then did you refuse to eat the cola? Because I don't want. I don't want it. I'm okay. Hmm. Anoka, I hope you did not come here to embarrass everybody. Eh? Huh? That I, I, I don't want to eat the cola cannot be seen as an embarrassment. Mazi Anuka, such attitude is a disrespect to the elders. Yes. And can be considered as an embarrassment. If you say you won't eat the cola, must you behave like this? I said no, I don't need the cola. Is there anything wrong with it? But that is a confirmation that you came here to embarrass everybody. That is not an embarrassment. In fact, I am beginning to suspect that there is something in it than a mere hospitality of serving cola not to a guest. This, mm -hmm. <laughs> this will not bring quarrel, eh? If Anoka says she's not eating cola. Anoka, you said you are not eating the cola. Yes, I don't want it. Fine and good. There's no problem. Uh, let us concentrate on why we are here. Uh -huh. Anoka, we want to find out from you if you are still insisting on your earlier position or if you have changed your mind that we should come to your house and remove the sacred objects of our forefathers. My Zuzawa, there is no way you can expect me to change my mind because uh, the decision was not impromptu. I meditated over it. I slept over it. In fact, the matter was given due consideration before I took it. Mm. Yes. And it may interest you to know that you have only one week left to come and remove those fetish things. Or I do away with it. Anoka, did you say you want to do away with the sacred object bequeathed to us by our forefathers? Anoka, try it and see. I said you should try it and see. Huh? Oh, Conta, I will not see anything. I will not see anything. The great one lives in me. 
If you have any other thing to say, please go ahead and say it, or else I will excuse myself. You can go. But before then, let me remind you that it was only one sad little bird who, after a heavy meal in his mother's kitchen, challenged his God, his best match, to a combat. <laughs> I understand you very well. I know what manner of man you are. But let me put you in the know. It is an absolute ignorance that makes the python think he can swallow the elephant. Have a nice day. Put it well here. Anuka! 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 Praise the Lord. Um, I called this meeting to put you in the know that I've had two separate meetings with uh, the elders, and I made them to understand that I am now a born again. They requested that uh, those British objects kept in the house should be allowed to remain there, but I said no. And I've given them the ultimatum to remove those things soonest, else I will do away with them. Incredible. You gave the elders an ultimatum to remove the artifacts? Do you want to bring the daughter of the gods on, on, on this family? Ha! Huh. Mama, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking as if you're not a Christian? Where is your faith? faith. What has faith got to do with it? Those things were there before your father was born. I'm not calling them faith. Mama, those things, those objects, are exactly the objects we're instructed not to worship or bow down to in the Bible. We need to denounce them and live a free life. Agatha, those things were there before your great grandfather. How come they did not remove it? Because they had no access to the kind of knowledge we have of God. If they did, they would remove them themselves. Anyway, for your information, I will not be part of what you're talking about. And I do not believe you people. I cannot be convinced. I and my children, we are not part of it, period. Nobody can convince me. Sorry, okay? Nobody can convince me. Mama, have you thought about it? You have three grown-up daughters that are yet to be married. What if those things, those objects are in one way or the other obstructing us from getting married? Hey, hey Agatha, you have a peculiar problem. You're the one that doesn't have any suit you're coming to you. Because you know what your problem is. Nobody blue Bible now, Kwani. Not my daughters. Husbands are coming. Suitors are coming. We're just taking our time because we're looking for the right classy man for you. For them. Oh, Mama, my case is not a peculiar case. The, the thing I believe is let us denounce those things. We don't need them. Let's live free and watch God do His thing in our lives. Agatha, all I can tell you is that my daughters and I are not part of this thing. In my friend Nagwai, we are not part of it. Nagwai, can you be going to see me? can you? Unako, I am not surprised you would remain conservative in your reasoning. You've just proved to us the kind of Christian you are. Those who go to church every Sunday without knowing the word of God. There are so many of you out there. But, uh, I pray that the Almighty Father have mercy on you. Uh, I hope it's not your deadly threat that you just carried out. Huh? I don't understand what you mean by deadly threats. The threat to profane and desecrate. Turn me side in your house by not informing the elders. Point of correction, Mazudaja. It was not a threat, but a statement of fact. Did you hear me? 
you defy the automatum given to you people. So I helped you as I promised. When you have the need for these fetish things, you come and have them. Or rather, I'm taking it outside to be there for you. I am an elder like you. I don't worship what you worship. So you have no need to keep it in my house. Anoka, the fly that refuses to heed to advice ends up in grief with the cops. Yes. Now let me remind you that you cannot threaten a chameleon with colors, for chameleon itself is a matter of colors.
same. Breast and bottom, not the same size, yo. Hey. America want which you want be photocopy? Which you want be original? Confusion, no go killing somebody, yo. Mame Jima, Mambo yo yo. She born a Jima, Omar Sadi Pashapo. Now which one be your baby? Now which one drop your money? Abunka, Kabunka, Abunka, Kabunka. Mame Jima, Mambo yo yo. She born a Jima, Omar Sadi Pashapo. Now which one be your baby? Now which one drop your money? Understand, please. Who are you? You a thief! I mean, you stole my money on my phone, and here you're asking me who am I? Can I have my money on my phone? What right is now? Problem? What's going on here? See, I gave this thief a lift in my car. All right. Why at the filling station I was refilling my car? So I alighted from my seat to pay for what I bought. This thief here collected my phone and my money and disappeared. She took a taxi. The taxi drove her right and dropped her at the front of this restaurant and she walked in here. My phone and my money are inside this box. I want her to open this box because my phone and my money are here. Open it. For goodness sake, I don't have his phone and his money. Okay, just open it. Open the box. Open it. Yes. I don't have your phone. I said open the box. You don't have it. Open it. But I don't have your phone and your money. I said I don't have his phone and his money. Open the box! I don't have his money and his Fine, open it. Open the box. Open the list. Pass, pass, pass. Open the box. Open the box. Open the box. Open it. Did you see any money? Did you see any phone? But you are the one that stole my phone and my money. No one else. See, this is the very girl I picked on the road in my car. And she took my money and my phone. You are a liar! Come. Where is it? You are a pathological liar. You are confused and you don't know who you gave a lift. You stole my phone. Please. I came straight from my house to this place. Please. I think there's a new source. Shut up! I said, shut up! I know what I'm talking about. You think I'm a kid? This is the thief that took my money and my phone. Manager, I need peace or I leave. Okay, you are getting a sign here and I don't like it. Because I told you before there's a new source somewhere. This lady has opened her purse and there's no money and your phone inside that purse. So please, I'm a price right now. Okay, the customer. Please. Alright, alright, alright. I've had you, it's okay. Face in the same, breast and bottom na the same size. America want which you want be photocopy, which you want be original. Confusion you go killing somebody. Mama Jima, Mama yo yo. She born a Jima, Omar Sadi Pashapo. Now which one be your baby? Now which one drop your money? Abunka, Kabunka, Abonya, Kabonya. Mame Jima, Mambo Yo Yo. She born a Jima, Omar Sadi Pashapo. Now which one be your baby? Now which one drop your money? Abunka, Kabunka, Abonya. Jima, Omar Sadi Kwa 
afraid the man is coming with some men and I suspect they are police officers. You have to leave here immediately. Look, so, they are already here. You have to act fast. Hurry. She has left. Left? Okay, in that case, let's go. Don't worry. I know what to do. Let's go. Face him on the same. Breast and bottom on the same size. America wonder. Which you want the photocopy? Is the more. Anuka has finally carried out his threat. He has collected all the sacred images and uh, objects of the gods. Put them into two separate bags and dump them at a distance far from his house. Anoka really did that? Yes! Ezimo, what we saw of the sacred images and objects was a sorry sign. Then he will be punished. Yes. He must be punished. As a more, we would like to start with his first daughter. She masterminded the crime Anoka committed. She was present the day Anoka committed this crime. Omeleme. Omeleme. Nyan Omeleme. Omeleme. His first daughter. Her name is Agatha. She was the one who brainwashed Anoka and lured him into committing that crime. Yes, Ezemo. Akata is the wing with which Anoka uses to make those dangerous flowers. Until those wings are clipped, more damages will be done. Yeah. Then she must face judgment. Mom, she must face judgment. Yes. Bring to the shrine. Four cowries, seven candles, and the head of a mad dog. When Nanoka sees his daughter naked on the street, he will be forced to return those sacred images of the gods and the objects back to where he took it from. He must return them. Supposing Anoka sees his daughter walking naked on the street and remains undermined. What do we do? Obano Bokobulo, Obano Tichilia, the wrath of the gods will be unleashed upon him. He will be destroyed and thrown into the evil forest like Onochiobidike. Onochiobidike from Ire village who took his late father's medicine back and threw it into the fire. Where is he now?
This body is lying cold on the surface of the evil forest. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's what you say. Mm -hmm. She is the suspect. And this man here is the complainant. This woman is the mother of the suspect. She was with her when we arrested her as she was trying to purchase something in the supermarket along a grey road and the company not had no difficulty in identifying her I have one of the photographs I believe it's hers So, young lady Sir where is the phone and the money? Just be free. Tell me the truth. Sir, I don't have his money and his phone. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you didn't steal the two items? Yes, sir. Perhaps know. you stole one of them. No, sir. Right? To God who made me, sir, I don't know this man. I've never met him in my entire life prior to when he came with the policeman to arrest me and my mom. We were making some purchases yes, in the supermarket. I, I mean, I'm her mother. We were together making purchases at the supermarket. Then your men just ran in and arrested my daughter, just like that. Madam, I didn't ask you to help her answer the question. And if you wouldn't mind, please go outside. I will invite you when you are needed. Please. Your officer, you don't understand. I was with her. More before I was with Please, madam. That's it. Okay, I will wait by the door. So, young lady. Sir. Take a look at this picture and tell me who it is. Sir. I don't know. This is not me. If I see my picture, I will know, sir. This could be photographic trick, sir. So, what do you have to say? About? She says she's not the one. Sir, she's just lying. You are you are lying? Shut up. This girl that stole my phone and my money. She's just lying. Stole Wait. which phone? Sir, she's the girl. Sir, I don't know you. You don't know who? I don't know you. Can you? This girl can lie. Who stole your phone? Go and look for your phone and your money. Listen. Sir. I can release you, okay? But I just want you to tell me the truth. Or do you want me to take you back to the cell? No, sir. Then tell me the truth. Sir, I don't know this man. I'm innocent of this accusation, sir. She is just lying. Liar, you just lying. You're the one lying. Well, Sergeant Patrick. Sir. Take her back to the cell. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sean, sir. This is the real suspect. We have arrested her. What is going on here? Hey! Oh my god! Who Stop! Why did you stop? Not my daughter! Following girls on the road! 
It's an offense. You don't even know who you are. Quiet! Come, come. Thank you, officer. Now, between both of you, who stole the phone and the money? There is no me. I've never seen this man before. I hey! It's not me. You've never seen me before. Mr. Man, hey! you must be mad. You're a typical liar. You are the one that is a liar. It's more than I see. I'm sorry. 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 I'm So, Mr. Mike, you don't have been able to identify this lady without the earrings. I'm, I'm sorry. Is that what you're saying? I am very sure of what I'm talking about. That's the lady that stole my phone and my money. This earring is everywhere. <laughs> Go out in the shop, you will see it. You're the one that is a thief. I'm sorry for the mistake I made in identification, but this is the real thief. Who is it? About... You are the real thief. Officer, please, can I say something, sir? Sir, you see, uh, some time ago, I saw two girls that looked exactly like my twins. I thought they were my daughters. I approached them. It took me a while, after asking several questions, to find out that they were not my daughters. They looked the same. I'm sure it's one of them that must have stolen from him. That is if they even stole from him. We shall see them. This is incredible. So you didn't even know if they were your daughters or not? You I were confused? Was, I was shocked, confused, and whatever, English. Hey, mother. Sure, sir. I think you'll help us find them. So that we can interrogate them alongside your daughters. That is not a problem, sir. I will do exactly that, I, I, even though it's only once that I saw them. But I know what to do. When I set up my goods in the market, I will balance them and look out for them. Once I catch them, I will arrest them. <laughs> I mean, I will call your boys to arrest them. Rita, thanks for your volunteering to support. Thank you, sir. Come it's all in the line of duty. Okay. <laughs> in the meanwhile, um, officers, sir, sir, sir. release them on bail. Okay, sir. Ah? Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. You see it? What do you mean by that? Are you authorizing me in my office? No. I'm sorry. But you just say something. I have to Stop pointing at this. It's a terrible offense. Okay. Investigation continues. Release them. So are you leaving? How oh, come on, you leave your Release your phone. You should you 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 say that to you. You're getting better. So this thing you people are doing, you think it is alright? What? Why are you doing this? Look at what happened at the police station. Now you're sharing the money amongst yourself. Is it good? I if someone does it to you, would you like it? How why? Is... Let me finish. Why are you painting the image of this family in a bag? Or the motor. Look at how Papa has suffered to make sure we stand upright in this community. But you've decided to make rubbish of all his efforts. Papa struggled. He suffered to make sure we stand right and stand different from every other person in this uh, uh, community. You went to school. You have good CVs. Share it amongst your friends to, to help you look for jobs everywhere. Get a good paying job and you and you live a better life. Get a good Is it good? Me. Why don't you mind your business and the first second? What's the problem? How? If you want to preach, please, go to Papa. Or you went tomorrow in your office to preach to your co-workers. Please leave us alone. Leave our room. Are you talking to us, No. We've had enough. Leave our room. She look, I'm I'm ready. It's time for you to leave our room. Eh? Mama, come on, what is going Leave our room. What's your problem now? To be forewarned is to be forearmed. I'm a bounder. Yeah. Leave our room, please. God has given you the power to make what? He has not given you. You're just letting the devil use you. You're letting the devil use you to truncate the 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 yeah, driver, be 
because I have waited for so long. If you can't fix this thing, Kamu, you know, let me find another keke and go. Please. It's too sunny. No problem, ma. If you don't go to wait for me, you go and look for another keke. Okay, because it's not about waiting for you. You've not been able to do anything. So, how much do, should I pay you? Okay. Here is 120. Mm. Thank you. Do I get another cake? Thanks for yeah. the gift. You look nice on you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you got it for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was scared it was going to beat you when I got it. <laughs> yeah. But I love you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you are the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's my mother. Please, can you pack her? Okay. What are you doing here? What brings you here? We just passed Nana, I saw you and I knew you must be stranded. No, I'm stranded though. It's the keke that I took. You just came here and broke down. We might have to go for the market this morning. Oh, I, I went to Amarachi's office first. I, we needed to discuss issues about the women uh, group. You know, how to dispose the money and everything. Marane, hmm? did you come out in that gym? Yes, Mama. That's Honorable Francis. We're going for lunch, so uh -huh. come and join us. Can I? Yes, Mama. You're free to join me. It's but good. have you settled it? I have paid him. You can't come back. Oh, my God. I greet my mother. Oh. I greet you. Uh, Mommy, welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, come in, please. Hey. Uh, oh, okay. yes, uh, uh, Mom, take it easy. Take uh -huh. it easy. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You're okay, welcome. Uh -huh. Thanks, love. It's okay, baby. This food tastes good. It's really nice. Oh yeah, Mama. <laughs> it's really nice. It's so good. Honorable, you you like good things. So. <laughs> See that your jeep out there. Mm. Good jeep. Oh no, Kaji. Hmm? And then you brought us into a good restaurant, giving us good meal, delicious. And then to crown it all, you have my daughter <laughs> sitting <laughs> beside you, Nate. Chigezege. It's just not your food. This is not the right time. Come on, honey. Your mom is still there. I'll have to express her feelings. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. What about where? Honorable, please tell her. She too, she likes good things. Oh, yeah. She has a way of catching good things for herself. Honorable, oh, can I ask you for a favor? Okay. Next time you people are going out, can you invite me? Say promise. 
For who gave you the right to step into my apartment? <laughs> I have the right. I have come to possess you and live with you forever. You lie. You are a liar. You are a foul spirit, and you are going to live here right now. I command you to leave this place right now. I will not. I am here to complete my mission. I command you in the name of Jesus to leave this room. Leave, leave, leave this room in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave here in the name of Jesus. Leave this room. Leave this room in the name of The avenging daughter of Ebuno Babe. I hope you have not failed in your mission. She ordered me out in the name of He whom I must obey. And I had to leave in the name of He whom you must obey. Who is He? You are supposed to know whom He is. Please don't. Ask me. Did she ask you not to come back? No. She did not. Then you must return immediately. You must stand firm and complete the mission. This mission must be accomplished. You are here again. You are here again. Let me remind you that I am a child of God. I have been bought by a price redeemed of the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago. So therefore you have no place here. I am a child of God and he that dwells in me is greater than you that is in the world. I command you to leave this place right now or be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command you to leave here right now in the name of Jesus. Leave here in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume you. Consume you. Burn you in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You think you can come and weep where you did not sow. Hey! Devil, you want to try yourself. It will not happen. But as long as Christ sits upon the throne, you will not win. Christ will always win. In the name of Jesus. You must return to her. She must be conquered. No! I will not go back again. She attacked me again with the same before. 
and ordered me to leave. But it is very important you return to complete this mission. But this time you will go with no sound or noise to accompany you. You will enter the room unnoticed. Don't allow her to speak. You will triumph. Screaming, yelling, shouting, singing. Oh, no, 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 no. I have never experienced such a thing in this compound. Honestly, Mama, I didn't hear or know anything. But uh, what could be the problem? Oh, come on. The way if she went on and on, she was using this commanding voice. She was telling whatever the person to get out of her room. In short, eh? I don't think she was talking to a man mother. Are you sure the ghost had not entered her room? It must be the idol that she and her father uh, uh, carried out of the compound. Yes, Mama. That must have been what came back to fight her. She could not have carried such an act against the ghost of our oh ancestors. It has facing such a severe consequences, Mama. Listen, she brought it upon herself. I won't pity her. Let her carry it upon herself alone. Oh, oh Mama, in the bone again. What? No, Mama. Have you seen her this morning? <laughs> Hi! I'm telling you, she left very early this morning. If anyone had told me that that girl would leave her room this morning, I wouldn't have believed. But she came out looking strong. The way she just walked out, I'm really baffled. Yeah. Mama, 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 Come back. I hope you had a good night. Fantastic. 
We went clubbing all night and I had a lot of fun. I knew it. I knew it was enjoyment that kept, if not, we'd have come back then. Of course it was enjoyment. Real enjoyment. I've never had such in a long time. Mama, do you know the Honorable is a nice man? Let me show you something. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> this is hundred thousand naira. <laughs> Mama, not only that, he promised to buy me a car. Buy you a car? Yes. He'll be coming down from Abuja every two weeks. And before the year runs down, he will take me to one of these car dealing companies and I will make a choice of my own. Nema. It's not just about making any choice. This is an opportunity to cash into whatever God has planned for you. See, let me, let me narrate this to you. It's like someone climbing um, an Iroko tree. When you get to the top of the Iroko tree, Collect all the firewood you need before coming down. Because the local tree is not a common tree. You got I me? Mama Watam, I understand. Then wait. What Mama is saying is that you should make sure he buys you a good car. Or brought just a good car. A fantastic, fantabulous car. Yes. A car with factory fitted AC. Mama Tiaraba. You got that? Do you understand? Because as I'm sitting here, I can just picture myself Mama. in front of the car Mama. with my two daughters, one by my right, one at the owner's seat at the back. It's near me and I gear. And I start driving. Ooh. Mama. This is how I'm seeing myself now. Mama. Don't you think that making such a choice might scare him away? You don't even know the kind of man you're dealing with. The honorable. The kind of money they pay them is the kind of dollars you find in some rooms in Ikoyi. Some of them buried inside coffins in the burial ground. Where even the dead people will look and want to come back to life. Some of them at the backyard, beside the toilet, suck away. That's the kind of money that he makes. So mama, you mean you'll be willing to make a huge sacrifice on me. Of course. Because when you look good, people will know what stuff is made of. You got to go. As you move and they see you moving, people will say that's the honorable's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, Mama, I will try my best. Oh, Nem, I don't want you trying your best. I want the best of your best. Eh? So that that way, and I'll call a change. You got that? It shall come to pass, oh. Amen. It must come to pass because there is no stopping us now. Your child will be able to say, Ain't no stopping us now. We are on the moon. <laughs> Hundred thousand naira. About that land, yeah. And he knows to be. Come back. <laughs> It sounds well with the person. Amen. How can somebody do this to this innocent child? Biko, Biko, can she see a chain now? Remove this chain because she needs some relief. Can she see a chain? No, no, she does not need any form of relief. She has formed the habit of sneaking out of the house when nobody is around. Two days ago, it was one Yoma and Muye that brought her back from the market square. They saw her wandering all over the place. And I was busy searching for her here. Today again, she sneaked out very early in the morning, running down the Ezu River, probably to go and drown herself. Before some people saw her and brought her home, it's not possible. It's not possible. 
What she's doing is not intentional. I want the real. Mama, Biko, Biko, one baby. Please clean this girl up and, and give her something decent and clean to wear. And clean her up, no? She does not want any clean clothes. If I put on any new dress on her, she will end up tearing it. She has on so many. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of wasting clothes. I think the best thing to do is to take her to a psychiatric hospital. I get some medical attention. We are making arrangements for that. But my husband said he would take her to one place for her minor treatment before we go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! Oh, we found mad enough for her. Then please, what do I offer you? I don't even talk about that. Eh? Not even cold water. I don't salt. want anything. Biko, I don't need anything. Okay. I feel so disheartened. I mean, who could have done this to this harmless girl? Mm -hmm. I have only resorted to God in prayers. He is my only hope and my help, and I know He will help me. Please, how are your daughters? My daughters are fine. And your husband? My husband is fine too. What about uh, 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 Nani Ezeko? Seems like he's not home. I'm not interested. <sighs> he's not at home. He went out. He went to see one of his friends concerning Nana's illness. <coughs> that reminds me. I heard your husband has finally removed that contentious object in the house. He has, though. And honestly, eh, my daughters and I, well, apart from Agatha, we have nothing to do with it, though. Well, of course, apart from Agatha. She assisted him. Are you saying you're not in support of what he did? Of course not. That thing has been there even before his great-grandfather was born. Why should he remove it? And why for Amelia? Hey, but why would you talk like this? <laughs> The answer is clear. His father was not born again. And he is born again. Okay. Seriously, I am sincerely praying for my husband to give his life to Christ. The way your husband did. I will be the happiest woman on earth that very day. Okay. And for Agatha, I envy her commitment and love for God. And I know God will never allow such a person to be put to shame. Oh. You see, Agatha, yeah. I am not against her commitment to God. Yeah. But the point is that she doesn't know where to draw the line. She should know that there's time for everything. Time to pray and time to do other things. Uh -uh. My, sister, my sister, I have not seen anything wrong with what Agatha did. Enough, eh? Whatever she has done, I believe is not in her own authority. Maybe the authority came from heaven. I am so glad you have heard you. If Nina, my daughter, had worshipped God the way Agatha, your daughter, did, she wouldn't have been in this condition today. Yeah. That reminds me. How is Agatha? I've not seen her for a while. Uh, she, she's on leave, so uh, she traveled. She traveled to Abuja for some church uh, gathering or whatever. Then I'm about to stay at home and in house church. I'm going to see her too. Please, anytime she comes back, just let me know. I would like to see her. No problem. You go. You're so glad. Hmm! I see really Malung. I'm going to go Malung. I'm going to go Malung. Um, that's Bring her here.
You may now sit. You are me not to return, so I entered here, and I'm very comfortable. I won't leave. Is it What is she saying? As it were, don't bother yourself. I can understand her. This is not the right place for you to occupy. Leave and return to the forest. No, no. I have no assignment there. Leave! Then I will force you. I will force you to leave. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> then wait for me. Wait for me. As a way, remain with her. I shall return. I heard someone scream at the back of the tree when you have not returned. That was me. I had a scorpion sting. Yes. A stubborn spirit is trying to frustrate all our efforts, as it were. Stubborn spirit. Yes. Um, as it were, you have to take her home. Eh? Come back in two days' time. Let me have time to commune with the gods to know what next to do. You know, go. Eh? Take her home. Hey! Hey! Mom, mom! Hey! Mom, mom! Hey! Oh, 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 Don't allow your humble servant to be humiliated by a disloyal spirit. Fight for me! Don't allow me to be destroyed! Hey! Oh, because of my ancestors. Rescue me, oh, rescue. Hey,
Now which one be your baby? 
you see, when I come back in two weeks' time, I will take care of where you're back to Abuja. I'll be glad to go with you, sir. Uh -huh. I will appreciate it. <laughs> that is good. See, when we get to Abuja, I will take you around the city. And I'll take you to places of interest. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go with you, sir. <laughs> Why this sa 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 sort of a thing? Can't you just look for a pet name to give to me? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Come on. I'm sorry, love. You make it more romantic. Okay, sweetie. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. Like I was saying, mm -hmm. she don't have any problem at all. Just get yourself ready. I'm prepared as I'm talking with you now. Just say the word and I'll obey it. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> this is not now, it's not today. Mm -hmm. I said two weeks. Okay. Okay. Thanks, baby. No, 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 no. Like it more romantic, baby. Oh, we'll get to the room. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, okay, let's go back there. Okay, see yeah. I like this. Yeah. Take it now. Uh uh. Is she taking her medicine? Yes, ma'am. Jane, I hope you took the full dose. Because, hey, man, honey, you don't like taking the dosage. I'm not going to go to my I took the complete dose. So, how are you feeling now? I'm better, mama. That's good. Mama, but my only worry is that the honorable will be coming down for my project today. I will bring it to do with him. And I'm not disposed to say for If I don't show up in my own schedule, I might be able to make another meeting. Oh, Imba. We can't allow this opportunity to slip through our fingers. What should we do now? Mama, how do you mean? Do you expect her to go and see him in this condition? Imba, no, no. Oh, I'm thinking we should apply Robinson's style. Yes, now. You remember then? Yes, you know, that good for nothing, man. <laughs> when you went to Gabon and he came, he wanted to see you, but you were not around. Oh, Jen went and represented you, and the stupid man could not even tell the difference. Mama, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm the intelligent. Yes, Mama. Eh? You're the best Mama in the world. Oh. You think he's alright? I'm okay with that. That reminds me. Someone said that Mr. Robertson is sick and I've been an operation in the hospital. What's my own now? It's been long. It's history, Mama. It's yeah. okay. not my business. Hmm? Yeah, sorry, dear. Oh, it's not me. your phone. It's not phone. That's the only one. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, sir. And you? Yes, sir. I'm in the house. I've been expecting your call. Hello? You're welcome, sir. I'll be with you in a short while. Okay, sir. I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> really approaching. He has already arrived and has checked in at the presidential hotel. Where is Jenny staying? Which of the presidential hotels? The one in Mandela Road? Yes. His room is very good. His restaurant is just so good. I will explain everything to you later. What is sa sa sa? Why are you only not saying sweet sweet when you can teach I love you? Because of one day I will teach. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming, so you tell me. Yeah, who is there coming? The door is open. Look 
at my baby. Oh, come on, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Wow! Come here, come here. <laughs> Very well. I left Abuja a few minutes to 12 noon. And I called the minute I landed at the airport. Okay. That's by the way. Hi, your mom. She's doing great. Mm hmm She extends her greeting. Oh. Wow. Right. That's good. Um, did you order anything for me? Yeah. I ordered for your favorite. <laughs> oh, thank you. They are preparing it. And for your brand of drink, they are in the fridge. Thank you. Hi, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have to go and show now. I'm coming. Okay. Um, but uh, can you do me a favor? Just say uh, it. Can you come with me so you can scrub my back? Oh, sure. <laughs> I will do it for you. If I anything for you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That's my baby. This evening is not as yesterday. You know, I'm better now. In fact, those drugs were more effective. I slept like a baby. Okay. <laughs> so forget about me. Just, just, uh, how did it go? So you mean he did not show any sign of suspicion throughout your stay with him last night? Yes, he did not do. In fact, he felt relaxed. And believe you are the one with him. <laughs> he instructed me. I told him, let's go. I'm going to Abuja. The next two weeks. I have an important wedding to attend tomorrow, and he is. Hmm, that's good. <laughs> I knew you would not find out. That reminds me, did you mention anything about my car? <laughs> he said when he comes back in two weeks' time, he will take you to a car dealer to buy a car before going to Abuja. So get ready for a car. <laughs> Miss Lizzie, on no account should I get anyone about this. I don't want her to spoil this and reach her with her bad players. Who will tell her? Me or you? Because I know Mama will not tell her. That reminds me, no reason. She just came to see that her friend. <laughs> <laughs> I take, I'm coming, I'll join the same. Facing all the same. Breast and bottom are the same size, yo, hey. America want that. Which you want be photocopy? Which you want be original? Confusion will go killing somebody, yo. Hey. My hey. Mama, my boy, yo, yo. She might ask you to be a big fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Mama, Mama, it can't be busy attending to how to do all for myself. The last one I attended before the interview was a dinner with Mr. President. And the last one at the presentation of the Yeah? It was a straight banquet, an event I will forever remember. There were so many dignities in attendance. We had the senators, the House of Representative members, the Catholic Governors, and so many of them. I greeted so many of them. I also collected numbers. Some contact is necessary. After this Abuja I will say, never, never smell a different change. Mama, I don't Hey, Mama, that reminds me. Uh, let's not miss this opportunity. Mama, Ufuka, you can as well add another car, making it two. You have to go. Mama, see, more food to Wait! <laughs> you know that man is rich. He loves you. Mm -hmm. And he's very, very generous. Yes. Oh my It's not just about two cars. Mm -hmm. What if we make it three cars? <laughs> 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 Mamma, I don't give away the book. Mamma, I don't want to go away. 
Providence, just the handwork of God. Marvelous. And how is your sister? She's fine, even better than I am. Like seriously, yes. So, the car, what did you buy it? It's five months old now, and I'm even thinking of adding another one to it. Jane! Like seriously? Yes, very seriously. I'm just trying to compensate myself. Maybe have another complimentary one. Maybe car. So that I can go out with it anytime I want. Can I have your phone number? <laughs> you see, I'll give you my complimentary card. Just relax. Jane, I will call you. I will call you. We need to sit down and talk, please. Okay? No problem. I'll take care of you. Just take care. Have a lovely day. <laughs> she hardly sleeps. Sometimes she would not sleep and would not eat for a stretch of two to three days. Hmm. I have seen many cases like that. The hands of the gods are in it, and they must be appeased. I will come and see her, and then inquire from the gods what should be done to set her free. I will so appreciate because her condition is giving me sleepless night. remove your leg chains so that you can run away as usual no it won't work for you today oh yeah go back unless you want me to whip you please go back ha. does she always run away yes each time you leave her at the comfort of removing her leg chains she will run away quite unlike others Hi. mental illness is a serious problem it is the worst kind of sickness. It really is. There's no doubt about that. And regarding your daughter, don't bother yourself. I will come and see her on the next Nkwa Market Day. Uh, uh, hey, I will so appreciate because... Uh, I shall be on my way. Eh? Uh, I'm expecting you. <clears throat> and now I swear I can hear you. So what do you say is the matter? Thanks, Amin. Um, it's about our daughter, Nina. Our condition is giving me sleepless nights. I can no longer eat, drink, or sleep well. 
No, there has not been any sign of improvement. Despite all the effort that has been made, Nani, her condition is worsening rather than improving. We need to do something, Bikono. That is true. But what you don't understand is that if not for steps taken to appease the gods, Nana wouldn't be alive today. Father, Her case is such a serious one that requires most dreadful caution. <sighs> Meanwhile, um, another medicine man or two of here from Isiago will be attending to her in two days' time. Mm. Another medicine man? Mm -hmm. mm. Why don't you leave? This issue of bringing another medicine man. Let's try God this time around. Nani, I strongly believe that God can do something. I strongly believe that God can do something. At least two, two people told me that I should bring her to their church in the city. They believe that God can heal her. Nani, be cool. Let's try God. Yes, man. And you believe them? Yes, no, I, I believe them because I know that there is no sickness God cannot heal. He will heal Nena. Is it true that my prayer can heal a person in such condition? <laughs> well, I don't blame you. You don't know the seriousness of her sickness. That gods and goddesses must be at peace. Before she could get proper cure. Nani, it is only God Almighty that decides what happens. Now I met Agatha in the city the other time and I explained Nena's condition to her. She told me to bring her to their church in the city, that she believes that God can heal her. Now I met her over the weekend again and she told me the same thing. She believes that God can do something in Nena's case. Nani Bikono. Let's just try her church. Let's try her God. Who's that? Hey. Nani, you don't know Agatha again. She's the first daughter of Anoka. Nani, God has been using her greatly to deliver a lot of people from bondage. And I know that same God will not disappoint us. Hey, Bikono, let's just try. That useless will want to talk of Anoka. That let Anoka astray. Tell her it will not work for her. Nena will not go to any church. It's just that you don't know her. You don't know Agatha. She's a very nice person. She, she, she's a devoted Christian. Nanya, see, I, I know she will never lead us astray. She cannot take us to a bad place. Eh? Let's just try her, Biko. I've heard you. Thank you. But Nena will not follow Agatha to their church. Her case is beyond what church can handle. Leave Nena for me. I will handle her case. <laughs> Please allow me to take her. I, I promise you. I believe God. Nani become. Nani become. I beg you. Let's just give her a trial. Let's give her that chance. Nani, let's try her, God. I, I believe strongly in me that something good will come out. Nani become. Nani become. I beg you. Hey, that is wonderful. 
Yes, he promised. I'm considering getting two more cars from him. I found out that one will not be enough. So three will be enough. One for my mother, one for my twin, and one for me. <laughs> two more cars? Yes. We are going to do that. Of course he will. He has the money, he loves me, and he will do whatever I want. Yeah, you're not lucky. I swear, Jane, you are very, very lucky. You are a lucky girl. Of course, I've always been. So forget about me. Just kiss me. How about that, your guy? I'm mm -hmm. lucky. I'm lucky. I don't have a guy. Huh? We parted ways about one year ago. Yes. I was so shocked to know that he was not doing well in his business. And yet he was talking about marriage. <laughs> I dumped him for good. Babe, you did the right thing. Me, I don't have time for all this year, yeah, businessmen. I've switched over to politicians. Hey! If you want to have a good life, if you want to enjoy life, there are some of them that enjoy young, young ladies. They are the ones that will make life more comfortable for you. Life seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know how to get there. I don't know. Because I believe that they are not interested in young ladies. Babe, you're right. Too. Not all, but quite a good number of them enjoy young ladies. Only one attempt. Only one contact. Only one hookup will transform your life. Hey, you know, you know, I will appreciate that. I need help. The gods of our land, I salute you. The gods said, she has embraced the spirit in the marketplace. Why did you allow her to go to the market? It happened when nobody was around. Somebody should have kept an eye on her. Her mother has always been around her. But she has formed the habit of sneaking out. When she fails, no one will be around. You know, in this case, she ran to the marketplace. Fortunately for us, people who knew her brought her back home. This is unfortunate. Because she has gotten to the point of no return. And no hand can bring her back. How do you mean? Because there is no known cure for someone who is possessed with a spirit of madness and on their own accord visits the marketplace. Her case is not different from that young lady's case you saw when you visited my house the other day. Her name is Angela and she has been mad for five years. She cannot be cured unless the gods on their own allows her to go. It is quite unfortunate that a woman very close to your family, fair and complexion, is behind her ordeal. My goodness. A woman? Yes. An elderly woman in her sisters and fair in complexion. She swore she would not live to see your daughter succeed in life and projected the spirit of madness to her. What do I do? Absolutely nothing. There is nothing you can do. The gods are the only one to decide when she will be let loose. Hey, Gary, then, Mona. Hey, Anna. I shall be on my way. Keep an eye on her and don't allow her harm herself until it pleases the gods to let her go. Mama, I'm 
Lock, lock the gate, lock the gate. Where are your Bible, sir? Mama, I've searched for it everywhere. I can't find it. Do you? My own is here, in my bag. Why don't you get her letters when she has a couple of bags? Mama will not do that. Besides, she has gone to church with Papa since. Anyway, that's their business. If they like, they can go to church 10 hours before time. It's none of them. God will wait for us in church. Yes, ma'am. While we're waiting for Mama, let me do the introduction. Papa, this gentleman here, he was supposed to come and see you and Mama next week. But something came up and he has to travel out of the country, so he decided to do it today. We have been seeking God's face concerning living as husband and wife, and we believe that God has given his consent. I'm here to present him to you. He's a pastor and uh, he's from Anambra State. His name is... Allow him to introduce himself. Yes, Papa. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> My name is Desmond Osai, sir. Desmond Osai Okoye from Oka in Anambra State. Sir. By the grace of God, I'm a minister of the word of God. Yes. Presently, I reside in America where I do my pastoral work with Divine Family International. Yes, sir. And like she told you, we both have um, talked about it and we have accepted. And having she accepted my proposal, I said, okay, fine, let me come and see the father and the mother and the brother family members. Yes, sir. And, um, My son, you have done well. You have done marvelously well. Thank you, sir. But you know, marriage of these days is not like in those days when a man and a woman who love each other would go ahead and marry without going through any kind of medical test. Today, there is the need for genotype test and other necessary tests. Oh, that's uh, we know about that, and we have um, submitted ourselves to all those necessary tests. And by His grace, we have obtained a clean result. Mm. Then I would say you have crossed the major hurdle. Um, let me confirm your claims from my daughter to my hearing. Uh, no problem, Adam. Yes, Papa. Do you accept to live with? Uh, Desmond, as your husband. 
Yes, Papa, like I told you, we were seeking God's consent and we believe he has given his confirmation to us to leave as husband and wife. So, yes. Um, Desmond, my daughter Agatha has accepted to live with you as her husband. So, I will not object. I hereby give my consent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Go and prepare something for him. He's not part of us. Oh, I will know no object. Oh, who are you? Oh, Mom, this month, Osayo Koye from Anambra State. Uh, before you came in, I have explained to Daddy my reason for coming here. Yes. <coughs> Your daughter and I have accepted to live together as husband and wife. I know why you I said, okay, fine. It's good for me to come and see the family. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Daddy, I I would love to use this opportunity to ask you or rather request for the list that will cover all the marriage expenses from the beginning to the end. Yes, sir. Yeah. According to the tradition of our people. <laughs> and I <coughs> Yes sir. Because I will be off for three months and I will come back in Easter for our marriage. For the wedding proper. I will give you. I will give you a check of one million naira. Huh? Yes, to cover up the whole expenses. <coughs> one million naira. Yes. That is good. <laughs> My in-law. My in-law. You have demonstrated you that you are really interested in my family, and I promise you, you will not regret picking a wife from this one. Eh? And there's one more thing I want to promise you. I'm okay here, and I will never have any problem over this check. We will share it 50 50, and we will utilize it very well. We will share what? It seems you don't understand the purpose for which the money is meant for. Like I told you, I, the money is for the wedding expenses. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Don't worry. Eh? We will know what to do. Oh, Anox, Anox. I got money. We will know how to utilize the money. Uh, uh, by the way, nobody has told me which of my daughters you are interested in. Whether it's Lizzie or, or um, Jane. But... Not to worry, they'll soon come home, then you'll show me exactly which one. But I have always known. No, mommy, I am not easy body. Eh? And what can you do? If you're gonna go, pass off, or I'm not. Ah! I'm not. You're home, and you're to come, ma. Yes. We came to see you and Papa. See you? Yes. Is it you he came for? Yes, ma, she's right. I'm here because of her. In Afukuzo. From where? And on what occasion? Oh, this is. I'll be. I'm a big 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 My in-law, Okogo. Thank you, Rafa. I am happy that both of you accepted me to this form, yeah. <laughs> you are fully accepted. Oh my, this pain, You're welcome, my this sister. pain that normally comes from here down to my leg. I would have gone to the hospital, I can manage you know, I don't have the money. Oh, mommy, there's no problem, I'll take care of you. You will? Hey! Oko, Oko! You both go! Thank you! Mama, I'm quite convinced that these things are not empty happy. Why must Agatha be the only one making steady progress in this family? And even without much stress. 
And if someone would have told me that Agatha would get married before two of us, I wouldn't have believed it. And don't tell me it's a mere good luck. Because I know there is something behind it. Who will tell you one Are you sure Agatha is not patronizing a witch doctor? Who might have prepared good luck charm for her? Mm, don't go there. We all know how prayerful Agatha is. Agatha will not have time for a native doctor. Or much I go fast in her brain. Ah, Mama, wow, don't go there. We ourselves are prayer. There's none of us who doesn't know how to pray. It is about prayer matter, Mama. Let's pray now. Mama, you have to lead us in prayer because we have formed a prayer group since. And we always pray every day. Something must start to happen. At least we need our own key prayer. Let us pray now. God, no, please. Let us pray. Oh. Ah. I'm going to pray now. I'm going to pray. Come on, lead us in prayer. Our Lord and our God, that as we have come before your presence, Father, I lift up my two daughters, Jane and Lizzie, to you. I ask you, Father, to bless them with husbands that will be better than Agatha's husband. Amen. Father, I also pray that their husbands will be stinkingly rich. Amen. In short, they go lazy. Amen. Father, I pray that the man will love them so much that whatever they ask him to do, he will do without thinking two times. Amen. Father, I pray that you will make them fruitful and you, in short, you will give them anything that any human being will ever want in life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Jane, I transfer the prayer to you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our husbands will be the type that will not be pulling us up and down. Amen. We pray the type that will allow us to do whatever we want to do. Amen. Father, we pray we will marry rich men. Amen. And may our wedding be the talk of the town. That will attract the cream, the value of political class from all over the world. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray also that three of us will be very rich. Amen. Excluding our father and our daughter. Amen. May we own all you wealth in my child and Yes. May Amen. we operate foreign accounts Amen. and may we spend money in dollars and pounds in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, hey. hey listen, say something before I round up the prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, have mercy on us and hear our prayer. Amen. Father, bless us so that people will so sit unto our hands more than they sow unto Agatha's hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we we'll also pray that will always succeed whenever we do our little tricks and be healthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we need more money in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, now let me round up the prayer. I, Father, I am praying that on the day of my children's wedding, hey, Father, I pray that the day my daughters will wed, you will invite Father and ensure that all the political big names in the whole world, oh, not just Nigeria, will be there. Amen. The time of Papa will Amen. come to Asia. But Donald Trump Amen. Amen. will come with that his car in the golden column. Amen. Amen. And then the head of this country, eh, Buhari, will be there. Amen. Father, our governor, Senators, Amen. members of House of Rep, Amen. all of them shall gather. Amen. People will talk about this wedding. Amen. And then those governors and head of state, they will bless us with big, big contracts. Amen. They will give us big, big gifts. Amen. They will bless us with all sorts. In short, houses shall follow. We shall pack out of here and pack into Meitama Me in Abuja, Amen. pack into Victoria Island, Amen. And pack into any GRA in any area. Amen. Amen. All this we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey. <laughs> Lizzy, let's go now. We're getting late. Ah, sorry, I'm coming. You worry? You? I'm sorry. Do you remember to drop the key, with Mama? Yes, I gave it to her. Okay, we have to head straight to the bank. I want to see the manager. Exactly, but um, I forgot to ask. Were you able to see him there? Yes, we met at Zeno restaurant in the evening and we have to go to town together. I think I have to give you an advice on this your new relationship with Linda. You know she's not someone one could draw close to. Everybody knows she's good at snatching people's boyfriend. I hope you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not well. I had to spare her this little time and skip her phone so that we could chat. Promise me, Sophia. 
I don't think I will give her another opportunity to come first to me. I'm satisfied. I am hoping this day. Um, Mr. Anuk, you and your wife should see me in my office immediately. Doctor, I don't understand. You see, um, I really don't know how to say this to you. But I know you and your wife understand so well. I know you understand the outlook on life. I see you different from other families who have been here in similar problems. They can actually live with HIV. Yes, they can. Mm. They can live alongside with their HIV negative colleagues. You see, but the problem here is that they didn't take their medication at the right time. And that is why this case has reached the final stage of progression. See, the tests actually reads the same thing which I mean with the previous results and I'm sorry to say they just have two weeks or so to live. Just two weeks or so? Don't, 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 doctor, it, it's not possible. I know you can do something for them. Please, just tell him to do something. Doctor, please. No, no, don't tell me to come down. You do not understand. Don't tell him he doesn't understand. You can't let my girls die. Doctor, you cannot let my girls stop telling me to come. No, please. Tell him he cannot let them die. You see, I I understand how you feel. But I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do. You don't you don't. Says that he cannot be treated. There's no way. I don't 
don't even know what to do. Eh? There's no medical treatment that can cure my children. This is strange. What kind of sickness would resist all kind of treatment? And why should you even give such a verdict to break your heart? Amarachi, you're not an outsider. So I will tell you the truth. My daughters are HIV positive. <sighs> Dr. Wilson was trained in America and he worked there for 12 years. And you know, usually in America they don't hide whatever is wrong with you. They just tell you the way it is. <sighs> So you won't even blame him. This right. is now there's really nothing that anybody can do. Ah, this is strange. What shall we do? Give him a memory. Nothing. I'm just waiting for Agatha to come and settle the hospital bill so I can take them home. Eh? I've lost everything. My shop has been closed down. The two cars we own, they've been sold. Everything has been sold on what's if one. Just to treat these children. But the way it is, is I, I don't have anything. It's better I take them home. I am alone, no, no, give your wine. Eh? Because nobody is even ready to help. My sister, it is only God that can be trusted in this stage. There is nothing impossible with him. God. God has turned this back on us. When was it fine? God has forgotten us, so please don't even talk about God. <sighs> this is terrible. When is Agatha returning? Um, tomorrow. She said she'll be coming tomorrow. Hey, I'm fine, Papa. Hey. Look at your baby. Yeah. Oh. Baby, how are you? Yes, she's fine. <laughs> uh, how about your husband? He's fine. He had something urgent to attend to, so he told me to come on my own. Uh, I hope all is well. All is well, Papa. Okay. All is well. Okay. And where's Mama? Is she inside? Uh, Mama or? should be somewhere inside. She's inside. She didn't go out. Uh, okay, let's go inside. Sorry. Why do I have to be taking away for such a long period of time? Why? Why do I have to should I brought her back and take her to the servant of God? I would pray for her. We had wanted to, but we were discouraged. We had wanted to take her to one of these churches around us for prayers. But someone said the kids would be better handled by psychiatrists or nursing men. We have taken her to at least two psychiatrists and nursing men. Even the one that is attending to her right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> anyway, um, the regional pastor is not alone. Hmm? We traveled, but we'll be back tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be hosting a healing service this coming Sunday. I would want you to bring her, so we can pray for her. Okay, okay. Don't okay. cry. God is your strength. Hey? God is your strength. Let me pray for you. As an only one ever, and if we are not sincere. I told you from the onset that you are leading these children astray. By, 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 by the way you encourage them to live a wayward life. By the way you encourage them to live a wayward life. But you will not listen. Perhaps you have forgotten what the Bible says in Galatians 6, 7 that whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Now they are reaping what they have sown by your encouragement, oh my God. Oh, God knows that I do not encourage them to do anything. I didn't encourage them. No, I was the one that encouraged them. But that is okay. Calm down. Let's not um, lament about mistakes that have been made. Let's think of how to solve this issue. Let's know how to resolve it. How? What are we resolving? 
What are we resolving in Agatha? He was very plain to us. He did not hide anything. He said that there is no thing one can do to save their lives at this stage. Who said so? The doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 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 So, <laughs> Mama, what both of you are trying to say is that the doctor's verdict is more powerful than the healing power of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not that. It's just that the state where they are now, there's nothing that God can do because they are... They are... What report? What report? Whose report will you believe? The doctor's report or God's report? The one that shed his blood on the cross of Calvary and by his stripes. Is that the report you want to believe? Or you want to believe the doctor's report? Uh, if you had been there, you would understand what I'm saying. The doctor says that there's no way they can survive. He says it's now. They are ground. There's nothing God can do. Mama, please, don't worry. Give me the balance of what we're supposed to pay in the hospital and let us watch God do the miraculous. How much is it? Oh, um, three hundred and fifty thousand naira only. It is well. I will pay it. You can cry, but you can't.